Hello everyone, and welcome back to another live stream. Welcome back. Uh, as per title, we're going to be crafting up our, our wreck saddles that we got. I need to talk though about a couple of things that have happened since I have last played. We have had a an update, a server client update, and it's supposed to fix some memory leak issues. And I'm sure many of you were familiar with the 50-50 bug. Well, we kind of fell to the 50-50 bug in some ways, and I need to explain that carefully. If you look at my saddle that's in my inventory, it's actually not the exact same saddle that we had the last live stream. So I, we noticed that we logged in, it was one day we logged in, and about 40 of our blueprints were missing. Like, no joke, 40 of our really good blueprints were just gone. They just vanished. So, we had to do some investigating. We found out, like, our really good Basilo saddle, our really good Baryonyx, our Castroid blueprint, a lot of things just kind of poofed out of existence, and we're not entirely sure what the heck happened. So, all of our blueprints that were originally here, we've had to move them. And so now, they're in a different location. Our blueprints now are upstairs. And they're in regular bookshelves because, um, that's a thing. Yeah, so we, we basically had to move all of our blueprints. The last stream that I did, because I showed off a little bit of the blueprints that we had in our bookshelves, we were able to admin command those back into the game because it was so unfair that the game just decided to delete 40 of our blueprints. Like, we were so frustrated. But we have to understand, like, we, under we knew that this is in early access and things were going to happen. But all of us were pointing out that this is exactly the same thing that happened on ASE. I never played ASE when it did drop because I was on console. And console didn't get it for like a whole year until it was like, you know, finally available to play on. You know what I mean? So yeah, we basically lost like... 40 blueprints. Some of them I don't think we could recover, but honestly, it's fine. We had to bring back in our wreck saddle. Um, it's five points in in armor better, like point, point five, you know what I mean? So it's really not that much of a difference. But anyway, I'm going to craft those up today. The plan for those of you that are listening in is on Saturday, which I believe today's Tuesday? Or Wednesday? I have no idea what day today is. <laughs> but on Saturday, this weekend coming up, we are going to be doing all of the bosses. That's literally uh, the Gamma bosses, by the way. We're not doing the Alpha straight away because we want to kind of test it and see what we can do. At the moment, we kind of have really good stuff set up. Like, for example... Um, we're up to 23 mutations in melee damage on the Rexes. We're only at 18 on health for the Rexes. And then I believe the Theries, as of right now, those are only at 18 on health. And we're trying to get the Theries up to 25 to maximize the sweet veggie cake. This morning, I did get 22 mutations on melee damage, so at birth, this is what it looks like. 619 damage. Um, we're doing very well, but right now, we need to prepare for the bosses. I'll show you guys a couple of things that we have been doing on the side. We have been playing and farming a lot of resources. And when I say a lot, I mean a l there's a ton. So over here... These vaults that we have lined up outside are specifically for crafting this Rex, this Rex BP. We've been, cr we created these vaults about a week and a half ago when we got the actual blueprint. And we started to farm the resources immediately because we knew that 35,000 hide per saddle 
is very expensive. So today we have all the mats and the first thing that I'm going to do is show you what we get with a crafting bonus. So let's do that. Like I said, I'm going to be joined with old school and tyrant for this. As soon as we're finished crafting it, I'm going to see if I can craft our fairy BP. Not sure if we can because I don't think we have the resources. Like getting the resources for the Rex BP was already crazy as it is. And before most of you go like too heavy on this, you need to understand is that the 273 armor, I understand that you cannot get those levels on official servers like PvE, PvP. We're not playing on official servers. We haven't changed any of our any of our settings in Nitrado. Our loot quality is standard. I don't know why our saddles are exceeding what is the what is the actual maximum, but just as a heads up. Um, awesome, no. But that probably would have been a very smart idea. I don't recall how much hide you get off of the Ovis when you do um, take them out. I'm not entirely sure. But let's go ahead and craft these saddles. I have Tyrant with me because I need him to owe out the material so I can pick them up. And FedEx, by the way, which is Sam's Argent, Sam has been breeding Argies. Like, he's literally pulled, I, I believe, like two day all nighters. This thing has 6,800 weight. This has been nothing but leveled. I want to say the base was something like three, it was three something. But Sam has pumped every single point into weight. And this is with 28 mutations in weight. Like, I'm not joking. Like, he's definitely pulled so many all-nighters just to get it up there. And like I said, our speeds for breeding are up a little bit. But regardless, like, that's still one hell of an achievement. Um, but let's craft these saddles, because I want to see what we get. You ready? Tyrant, are you ready? Okay, so... Hey everyone, happy holidays. Unexpected! Yeah, happy Thanksgiving for all of you guys who are American, right? I think he's AFK, I don't know. Honestly, I don't care. I'll craft it without him. Okay, so... The Rex Saddle needs 4,000... 693 ingots. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take FedEx and I'm going to walk it over here. And I'm going to start owing out some of the materials. So 4,000. Are you here? Oh. Yeah, I'm here. There you go. Um, Someone's just my name there for a second. Yeah, you're fine. Um, Do you want to start owing out the materials? I can call it out. Mm-hmm. So 4,693 metal ingot for one saddle. Elder, how are you doing? How are you doing? Yeah, I was not aware of how useful the RGs were until... Let me know when that's blue. Or do you have the, where's the BP? It's in there now. Okay. It's blue. Um... No, it's not. I lied. Yeah, it no. is. Wait, yeah, it is. Four, eight. Take out, take out like two and a half stacks. I'm sorry, I'm gonna get that. Yeah, breeding Argent is something I never thought about doing. I honestly was like, this is the most, I, I, I'm not joking, I thought it was useless. And then when I realized what the heck was going on, I was like, oh my god, it's basically a portable replicator. It is, it's literally basically a portable replicator. So that's what makes it so useful. But yeah, we're preparing for the boss fight. This is normally what we would be doing on the side. It takes a long time to do this, but I wanted you guys to see what we got for the saddles because I'm going to take a mind wipe with like focal chili and everything. I mean, I know focal chili only does like the, the crafting speed, but I'm going to take the focal chili for the crafting bonus. You know what I mean? All right, that's craftable. All right, I'm gonna take a mine wipe. Yeah. 
All right, so mine wipe's been taken, and I'm going to go ahead and put it all in a crafting skill. Sorry if you can hear me excessively clicking here, but it has to be done. Which fight are you going to be doing? Awesome, I'm not going to be fighting today, so I mentioned that on Saturday, this weekend coming up, uh, the guys and I are going to be doing the Gamma boss fight, but old school mentioned, old school is actually one of the guys we play with, and he mentioned the smartest thing ever, and I'll explain it in just a sec. I want to craft this first saddle. Uh, Tyrant, are you ready to see what it looks yeah. like? Alright, you can start putting in the mats if you want for the next one. Gamer clicks. I know, right? So, we're doing Gamma, and here's the reason why. Holy shit! 50%! 50%! 3-5-2! <laughs> I know, that's, that's somebody's personal one. So anyway, so the reason why we're doing all this, the reason why we're doing Gamma boss fight on Saturday is because number one, not all of us can play at the exact yeah, same time. Bring them to fiber holders. Do you want me to walk over there? To you? Uh, I'll pull them over closer to the bolts. Gotcha. So yeah, where can you get the Rex out of blueprint? Marcello, we got it from, it's called the Artifact of the Brute Cave. We hit that cave at least, you have to get it from a red drop, okay? So, the red drop in the Artifact of the Brute. I can show you on my map exactly where that cave is located. So, it's right here. It's in the Redwoods, right here. We call it the Swamp Cave, but you can only get it from the Redwoods. That's the problem. You can only get it from the Redwoods. This part right here. You can technically get the Rack Settle BP from the ocean as well, too. But we've not had very good success with it. We've had so many pre-built ones that we got from the cave. And I actually did it on stream, and I got pre-built ones that were really OP. But this is the best place to farm them. Right here. So if you're curious, that's where we got them. So anyway, the reason why we're doing Gamma first, awesome, to go back to what you were saying, is because Old School brought up the smartest point ever. He said, why are we breeding all of this time? Because, like, that's what we do. That's what I do. Whenever I play Ark, the first thing that I do is I breed like crazy. And he was like, why are you doing all this work when... We could be leveling our characters as you breed. So, it's the smartest thing, really, when you think about it, because we're going to go through the boss fights. We're going to do Gamma on all of the bosses. We're going to do Gamma Overseer, which is the tech cave, and we're going to get five levels off of it. And apparently, from what they've heard, is that you get a chibi as well, too, from doing the cave. Tyre and I are going to run the survivor notes, so... If you go and explore notes, hang on, I'll show you in a second. Uh, hide is what I'm short on. No, too much, too much fiber in there. Literally, I need about 672 more, more hide. Yeah, so that's so that's basically it. So, oh, there you go. all right, here we go. I can't craft it? Oh, because it's slot cups. Got it. There. I can't craft it. There we go. That was weird. Yeah, if you're a slot capped or close to slot capped, it just won't let you craft. Alright. Um, that's... The, that's the exact same... Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Stop, stop, stop. In my inventory, no. I have one that's crafted with a 39.3 bonus. The other one is with a 50.5 bonus, but they're the same exact armor. I think it's okay, capped. So, that, so, so, so that's, our, that, that's our cap. Official cap is much lower. I don't think we actually have any way of setting a cap. We have the exact same loot quality as official, but... 
their camp is lower somehow. Yeah. I, I don't know how that gets changed. Well, there's no way for us to change it without us altering no. the I and I file. No. I think with. Well, I don't even know if you can. I, I don't know how you do that, but I don't think All you right, can. So ho hopefully, we had a couple of those. Do you have a couple of focal trillies? You might need a couple. Um, I have one more focal trilly. Okay. I have 600 seconds left on it, so honestly, that's fine. Yeah, awesome. That's what I was thinking as well, too. So anyway, so Old School was saying that you get a chibi. Um, Alright, if I just need metal fiber. Uh, tribe log? There you go. You are good. So Old School is actually playing with us at the moment. He's just like... He's doing his own thing. That's basically what he's doing. The bosses have time to finish? What do you mean, Marcella? What the hell? What do you mean by they have time to finish? So... Where's the BP? No way. The BP just vanished. So did a bunch of metal. <gasps> oh my god! No, dude! Uh... Are you joking? Alright. Is this honestly this game? Are you actually joking? So much for the memory leak fix. Like, so. I oh, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got Where it. Where is it? Where is it? I, I hit take all and it popped out into my inventory. I was about to say, Tarrant. <laughs> Oh, buddy. You One freaked second. me there's, out there. There's invisible... Oh. There's if... a bunch of invisible stuff in here. Oh, wait. Oh. Hold on. If there's invisible stuff, can I go get Donatello? And I'll bring him over? Let me go get the other bird. I'll just, I'll just keep putting it into the balls. Yeah, so... That, what I said about yeah, memory... Yeah, maybe switch over to a different bird, though. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get Donatello. He's got 6,500 weight. Catbred, what's going on? How you doing? So, the memory leaks in the game... If you guys haven't heard, 50-50 was where everything was going into the game. So Tyrant, Twisted, Old School, Sam, and myself were having so many big... I can't even say the right word without getting demonetized here on YouTube. But like we were getting so absolutely pissed off because we were losing creatures. They were all being memory leaked to 5050 which was a bug and this was before like literally um it was like actually a couple hours ago before xbox got dropped you know what i mean yeah well i didn't have one job it was the game having one job you know what i mean but anyway we lost a lot of creatures to to the whole 5050 memory leak bug and we lost about 40 blueprints um, that just literally disappeared out of our bookshelf. So we ended up having to bring like back the, the, the blueprints that we lost. And the only reason why we were able to uh -huh. do that was because of the stream that I did before. Because I streamed our bookshelf that mm -hmm. had all of the blueprints. The you know what I mean? So Donatello and FedEx, if you guys don't know, are Sam's Argents that he's been breeding up. And he's leveled nothing but weight into these to carry all of the resources. That's why we're using it to craft... Yeah, that's why we're using it to craft this. But anyway. Yeah, Tyrant just had a little bit of a, of a bug issue. The game is still broken, by the way. Like, I want to be clear. The game still has significant bugs. I'm actually shocked that they released this to console. They should not have done that. Like, that was a big mistake for Wildcard, honestly. Yeah, I get you unexpected. I know what you mean. Wildcard should have never put this out on console. Oh, I, more fiber. I, I understand that people were really excited to get it out today, but... There are so many things that they need to fix still in this game. And it's not... Like, it's still not ready. <laughs> I don't know how they're... Like, this has got to have some backlash. Down the road. Like, I love the game, don't get me wrong. Like, I'm having fun, but...
You know what I mean? Like, it's it's actually crazy when you think about it. Alright, another one ready to go. Alright, I am crafting in three, two, one. Uh, can we take out a uh, resource? Because it's too full. Take out fiber. Alright, that's good. Uh, this one came out lower, 305, but it's still damn good. I mean, that's still, I mean, even if it came out with 0% bonus, it'd be still a godly saddle, so. Right. You uh, feel it with Snail more. Games doing it to release the, with bugs? Um, you're not wrong, honestly. Like, y'all have to keep in mind, Snail Games, they are, they are shitty. I'm not going to put it any other way. Like, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. They are terrible. They're god-awful. They created some of the most beautiful games. They were responsible for some of the most extraordinarily, like, awesome games. Like, and I'm not trying to complain. I'm really not. But, like, they... There should be a different person helping out Wildcard other than Snail. Like, because the game would do that much better. But anyway, like, if anybody knows the game Dark and Light... How many of you guys in the chat right now played the game? It was called Dark and Light. That was actually a lot of fun. And I was really disappointed that they stopped the production for that game. As well as Atlas. Like, Atlas was a really good game. It was a very excellent mechanic. And it was amazing in concept. But it had poor execution. And as a result, it died off. Like, beautiful games that had so much potential but it was because of the way that they were handled that they died instantaneous. I mean, people can agree or disagree with that, but I liked those games a lot. They were pretty good. But yeah, the memory leaks, I think they fixed most of it. So, honestly, the game only is going to get better. That's it. That's my hope, is that it's only going to get better. Alright, so... 3,000 more fiber? Oh, fiber's disappearing. There's no fiber in there, but it's just disappearing. What do you mean? Disappearing resources again. Hang on. Oh, I can't move because of the saddles. Um... Put them on the mega... Put I them can't in the walk. <laughs> I can't walk. No, I need to move everything over to the other bird. If you could actually bring over, um, on top of the Rex breeding platform, I have 23 over 20 on the mutations on melee on the Rex. If you want to walk that over, I could pop the saddles onto him. You want to just put it on the end saddle or in the end vault there? I could if I can if I can reach it when I hop off. I don't think I can. You can you can chuck them up to me. But aren't you bugged? Like, aren't you gonna... Like, you're having issues with inventory, aren't you? No, the Argents are. Oh. Okay. There you go. There we go. Oh, that's good, cat. I'm actually curious what the stream quality is like. On, on a phone. Like, I'm actually very curious. So yeah, for those of you that are tuning in, Saturday is boss fight day. We're just taking a moment to craft up these saddles. We knew it was going to take a while, and I wanted you guys to see the quality of what we got off of the saddles. Um, I really want to show off the Rexes and what we've done with their stats for breeding, but I might show that in a moment. I'll show that in a little bit. Are you putting all of the stuff onto FedEx? Yes. Uh, 
I, I think don't it's see the blueprint. It's also the slot limit. Is the blueprint in there? Yeah. I see it now. Hide. We need about 2k more hide. You can take some of the fiber out, because it's slot capped. That's good. You need a little bit more fiber. One more stack of fiber. Literally one stack. And then... One, like, one and a half thousand hide, maybe? There we go. I'm gonna craft. Let's see what we get, because I'm really curious about this. So this is why we need two people to craft it. Um, this came out max. 352 armor. You know what, I can- Can you bottle close to Yeah, I, I can literally just put it into the, the vault on the end. Turn up FedEx. There you go. Axel, how are you doing? Good evening. Good evening. So, saddles are looking pretty good. So far. I think we have about eight, well, 18 I think is, are we crafting 18 or 20 here? I'm unsure. 17. 17. So one is going to be for the UD, one's going to be for the Hell Pig, and one is going to be for, what, the Mammoth? Yeah, the other three s slots. Yeah, okay. So yeah, guys, we're going to bring in a, we call it a Hell Pig, by the way, that's our nickname for it. It's it's actually the Deodon. We're going to bring in a Deodon for heals, but we call it the Hell Pig. Um... We have a Deodon, we have a UD that we're going to bring in, we have a Mammoth that we're going to bring in as well too. Which bosses are you going to fight? We are going to fight all three. On Saturday, we're actually going to do four bosses. Actually, no, 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 scratch that. We're going to do five bosses on Saturday. We're going to do the Gamma, Broodmother, Megapithecus, and Dragon. And then we're going to immediately jump into the Perhaps tech it. cave. Alright, is it in FedEx? Yep. We're going to do Gamma, Brood, Megapithecus, Dragon. Then we're going to do tech cave, Gamma. And we're doing that because we want to get the chibi, apparently, that you can get. Ooh. That is a bad roll. Sorry, she's a bit closer to the switch track. And then we're gonna go for so that's four bosses right there. That's a lot of fighting. We're gonna do all that on stream on Saturday. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna fight the Megapithecus on Beta. Oh, closer. Okay. There you go. We're gonna fight the Brood or sorry the Megapithecus on Beta because the Megapithecus gives you the the Engram for the Deadly Storage. And we desperately need the space in our, um, we desperately need the space in our base because we're running out. So we want to get the daddy storage as fast as possible. But we know for a fact that we're not going to be able to do alpha dragon or alpha, um, tech cave without having some damn good mounts. So that's why we're going to hold off, you know what I mean? We're gonna try Gamma everything first, and we're gonna see what kind of... What what we're up against with the types of creatures that we've bred. The Therys are what we're gonna take into for the dragon fight, because of the sweet veggie cake. I've mutated the, the Therys to the point where their health will maximize the healing that the veggie cake does. That makes sense. Let's see what we get, guys. 
Not bad. You're short about 5k hide. I know. Okay, sorry. But holy shit, crafting these saddles. <laughs> you cannot do this by yourself. It's, it's too much, dude. It's like... And here's the other thing, though, too, is like the survivor notes. For those of you that don't know. What the hell? That was a Bronto. It's Can attacking our base. Can you shoot that? I don't have my... Here, I'm gonna take Don and tell him I'm gonna go kill it. It's attacking old school's um, shack. Sorry, guys, you're gonna hear the clicking. Mm, he, it's gonna kill his base. That's so sad. Um, I need to remember to come back at the end of the stream and repair his his base. So he's got the <laughs> he built this actually very early in the series, and oh, it took no damn damage. Okay, never mind. Fiber. But it's like his little beach shack that he has. Like, so it was like originally it was a very good view. So Saturday, we're gonna do all the bosses, so if you guys are down for watching us... Ready for an autocraft? Do the eternal struggle, that's what we're gonna do. Ready? Go for it. Alright. That was a garbage roll. Three percent on the cr crafted bonus for that one. Yeah, it happens. No, I know, but. So. Uh... Do you need me to move? No, you're fine. Out of curiosity, is this vault empty? Yeah, can we just owe out the fiber and put it in that vault so it's easier for you, or... Actually, we'll keep it... It's... I mean, it doesn't make too much difference. Does Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt have a saddle? Oh, I just whistled them over. What time are you thinking about on Saturday? Um, unexpected, that's a very good question, and I don't have an answer for you because... It depends on Twisted, and it depends on Tyrant and Old School. Those guys are on European time, like they're on like, you know, they're like, they're UK time, and I'm obviously on East Coast time. Uh, Sam is an hour behind me, and he's also United States, but right. I would imagine that. We're probably gonna do it. We have to start it early. Like, we're gonna probably start the stream pretty early because because of, like, compensating for them as well, too. If that makes sense. Um, I don't know what time that would be Eastern time. I would say I would probably be on sometime around nine o'clock eastern time but it could be earlier or it could be a little bit later it really just depends on how everybody's schedule is you know what i mean but we'll go through all the bosses on gamma the other thing that we have to do and i'm really hoping that tyrant and i could do this today is craft up those theory saddles i gotta show you the blueprint for that because it's really good
So yeah, these Argents are so crazy. These Argents are awesome. I highly recommend to anybody that's playing Ark to All right. never never underestimate the Argentavis because it is it's godly when you don't have a tech replicator. <laughs> Cat, that's your time zone, is it? You know what's crazy? Is like I'm American, but like most of my viewers are not from America, which is crazy. Like UK or Germany actually, like is a is a big one as well for me for some reason. It's crazy actually. Like you can actually see the demographics for that. It's probably because I play with. <laughs> it's probably because most of the people I play with are from like your side of the world. So every time people hear like you know. Every time people hear, like, you know, this, the, what, Twisted or Tired or Old School's accent, like, it's, you know, it's more familiar, I guess, right? Duck, how you doing? How you doing, sir? How you enjoying ASA, by the way? You liking it? Alright. Oh, buddy, let's see what we get here. I think it's gonna be good. Ah, eh, kinda. Even the Netherlands. Five kilometers from Germany? I've always wanted to, um, that, that's one place I've always wanted to go. In a way. Like, it's where most of my family's from, is from Germany. I've never been though, honestly. Like it's seems like it would be a beautiful place. From like, you know, the pictures that you see and everything. Uh duck, I'm doing great. Um just trying to, you know, relax before the holidays sets in. Do a bit of breeding. I mean not today during stream, but that's what we've been doing. I'll show you guys what we've been doing off camera in just a moment after we craft all these saddles. <laughs> It's taken us a minute, but we knew it would. Doing all right, though. That's another saddle? God, we've got to be close to getting done with the, with all the saddles, I think. Hold on, let me count. Eleven? So, we need, what, six more saddles, guys. And then we're done. Are we going to have, um... Do you think we're going to have much hide left? Might be so next round. I'm wondering if I'll be able to craft at least a couple of the Therry BPs. No, uh, I don't know if I need to do a wood farm or not. Oh shit, you're right. Are you putting it in FedEx? Are you using Donatello anymore or no? No. Alright. I was only transferring between them when like resources were disappearing. I think it's just when you get close to the slot, slot count, things go crazy. Is that what it was, really? Yeah, so now I'm trying to just get it closer to the exact amount rather than just loading them up. 
I was about to get really upset and I was about to say like, man, like, the memory leak is real, but... I mean, I did say it, but... I was kind of hopeful that like it was actually in your inventory. I have to show you guys also what Tyrant's been setting up for breeding as well. It's like a lot of breeding on the side. How many saddles do we have crafted so far? Twelve, I believe. I'll double double check though, because my math is always off. Yeah, definitely twelve. Definitely twelve. I think fiver. A little bit of hide. Um, about three k more hide. Like, 3k more hide. I th oh, never mind. Hold on. I think you added it, didn't you? Yeah. So another one. Alright. So, <laughs> I gotta show you guys what I've done with the colors for the Rexes, because, like, I want to put a color on our bases. And it's so silly to say out loud, because, like, I, I can't wait to do that. Like, I can't wait to put color onto our bases for the Rexes, because, like, I found a red one that makes it look like an alpha. A pink one. Just, I don't know. Just weird. How did you get that much resources? Um, Isan, we did, literally, we spent about, what, two weeks? A week and a half, roughly? And we were, we went around on Thylas, on the map. Old school, Twisted, Sam, Tyre, and I all have a Thyla. We went in different parts right. of the map. It, honestly, it was the hide. The metal wasn't oh, you more focal Uh, yeah, I can go get one real quick, hold on. Give me a second, I'll be right back. Should I bring, like, mm -hmm. probably two more focal chilies, right? Mmm. Eh, not a one should do it. Oh, you can bring two just to be safe. Yeah, I'll bring two. So, we got all the resources because, like, the five of us went on Thylas. We went out and we started harvesting with, like, with them. I think Giga is actually really good use, but we don't have high level Gigas. We've never. The highest level Giga that we found on the server was level 110, and we didn't tame it. Like, our Gigas are level, I think, like, 50. They're so crappy. But yeah. Um, we went on Thylas, they give a lot of hide. And we found out that Titan Aboas with our resource harvesting. So we have four times on harvesting and everything. So we went to the swamp biome. And... We noticed that if you harvest Fiomias and Titan Aboas, they give about 450 hide, which is the most. Rexes give about 600 hide, so we were just literally farming nothing but Rexes and Titan Aboa from the swamp. But with the five of us out on, on, you know, on, on those, like, it made it so much easier, you know what I mean? Yeah, but that's basically the believe it or not, the metal ingot wasn't even that bad. The metal is not even that bad to harvest. Like, we have so much metal in here right now. That wasn't the hard thing. The hardest thing was the hide. It's always the hide. Because you need like so much to craft, you know? But when you have five people in your tribe, 
Things get done so much faster. People breed all the time, round the clock. And that's exactly what we've been doing. Like literally around the like around the clock breeding. We're not breeding at the moment because there's only like the two of us, three of us online. So, and right now two of us are responsible for crafting the saddles, but All right. I knew you should get more fiber. Yeah. Do you really? Yeah. Okay. Um. I never did the math on the thing. I was just thinking roughly. On the fiber. We have 14. And I think the one that's in here is 15. We have 15 saddles crafted. So another two. Yeah, another two saddles and we'll be fine. Yeah, things are... 19,000 fiber piece, so I want to get like 40,000 fiber. Fiber's really easy to get though, so like, honestly, he has nothing to worry about. But in the meantime, what I can do is I can show you what progress we've made. So, I'm on 19 mutations on health. The eggs have been collecting in the oviraptor, so I'm going to hatch those out later today. I think he's close to being slot capped. And then... I just got this this morning. The female, melee. 619 damage, which is really good, honestly. And then our Rexes are doing amazing. Yeah, we're on our own unofficial server that we rented from Nitrato. I, I've never claimed that we were on any kind of official server. We're on our own rented server. We put our breeding rates, um, god, I can't remember what the breeding rates are set to, but we have like four times harvesting and gathering, um, yeah, I mean, we're playing it how we need to play, you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. But, I mean, I don't really care about our rates, like, because honestly, we're just having fun playing. It's like the same settings that we copied over from ASC. So whatever we had on Nitrato and ASC is what we copied over. But to be fair, the, the interface for Nitrato is really weird. Do, if anybody is renting their own server from Nitrato, the interface is actually really awkward. It's missing a ton of features from like what ASC is normally. All right. One more after this and we're done. Mhm. Mm okay. Um, after this, do you want to... What do you want to do? We could craft, like, some of the fairy saddles if we have the resources, but... I mean, honestly, I could craft those later on my own. Or, like, we could um, craft them later. Might be, better, might be better off, like, getting the resources for, like, all of them and just craft them all at once, kind of like we're doing with the Rex saddles. Yeah, I think so, too. Rather, rather than doing bits and pieces. Um... Yeah. We need to look for a new otter. Like, we need to look for a better, higher level otter to take into the tech cave, um, to breed into our base, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We could check out car car spawns if you want. And giga spawns. Yeah. I'm just probably have a look at those, clear those out. Um, about 14,000 on the fiber. Yeah, 14,000, exactly.
Do it. Last one, baby. Last one. And so basically all the metal that's left over and the hide that's left over is just because that one cell is slightly cheaper than the other one. Yeah, than but... the original one. Which, I mean, you can see that it wasn't much cheaper with what's left over with the monocrafts that have happened. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so... Those are... Damn, all those saddles, by the way. If if one of our Rexes dies... How many of them dies, got max bonus? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Eight, nine. More than half of them got capped armor. Yeah, if one of our Rexes dies, it'll be a miracle. <laughs> it'll be a tragedy. Yeah, I suppose, actually. Damn. We need to put those in the base. Um, yeah, you don't have to wait, do you? Oh, oh wait probably. a minute, wait a minute. What? How much metal's in that vault? Like, how much metal, uh, like, ideally? 9, 18, 2,000, 3,217. Okay, can you... Okay, we're gonna borrow FedEx. Can you owe out that metal? And... Can we... Yep, yeah, put it in the bird? Honestly, you can owe out the wreck saddles as well and put it in the bird, too. We'll take it back to base. Exactly, Tom. That's what I'm saying. I'll show you the stats of our rexes. Not the hide as well. You know what I want to craft? What do you want to craft? I want to craft a shotgun. A singular shotgun. Okay. Like a pump, you know what I mean? I made a mistake. Was that too heavy? No, I was just caught in the Rexus. Oh. I got the net. <laughs> I got you. Um, yeah, I want to craft one of the, the pumps that we have, because, like, they're really good. Um... Well, the durability doesn't matter anymore, unexpected, because the durability... So, this one right here that I'm looking at says 1,668. 1,738, but uh, they don't take damage. Saddles do not. Some storage boxes. Saddles do not take damage, so durability doesn't matter, you know what I mean? So, durability was a thing originally in the game. Like, saddles were actually depleting in value, but, like, they... Mentioned the devs mentioned that was a huge mistake on their part. I'll show you guys the stats of the creatures of what we have in just a second. That's the best pump. Old school Sport. said it had a lot yeah. of dura. There's one with high, slightly higher damage and less dura. Is it much? Well, it's like double the dura difference. Holy uh, only shit! Only seven percent difference in damage. Uh, not much difference in cost. It's only seven percent, though. Seven percent so less. So do you want to go with the uh, the double the double damage or the double dura? I think so. Old school, are you there? Yeah, let's just go with that one. Shit. Is that craftable? Turkey slots. Yeah, Tom, Dura on the saddles is right. Slots. Like, Tom is right. Dura on the saddles is a bug. Don't read that shit. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Don't need tight. It's all about armor. And it's only about armor when you're looking at saddles. But with weapons, yeah, Dura is a thing. So, I've not taken a mic. So, the, the shotgun that we have is actually crazy. But, like, we're gonna use that in the boss fight. I wanna craft one, guys. Like, I really wanna craft just one of them, just to see what we get.
3087 smut and paste. Holy crap! <gasps> no! Uh. We have to run Chitin Cave. Uh, we have to run the Swamp Cave. Huh? Yep, we're getting really close to. Like, I can craft one shotgun, but that's it. I need to paste in there. I need another metal. Alright, we have exactly enough paste. It's probably in a bunch there. of cement paste over at the little. No, we've I'm been dumping it. Like we've we've definitely been dumping the cement and paste. I think. Axel, you know what? The first week when we noticed that right, it was like the first day. We thought the exact same thing. We were like, "Bull crap!" Like, there's no way that they would do this to us. This is even craftable. Halfway um, through a boss fight, and we lose our saddle. No, no, it's not craftable. Um, so we can't craft it. At all. No. no. Like, at all. No. Because the bird yeah, is a smithy. Yeah. So we can. Also, so uh, old is school, the other blueprint cheaper? Old the school, we cannot craft. We cannot craft the pump shotgun without getting a tech repi. Oh, okay. And we. Yeah. It's a slot. Um, yeah. 300, isn't it, honestly? RG. Well, no, we can't craft it on RG because, like, the RG acts as a smithy. It don't act as a as a fabby. Oh yeah, good point. Might be able to craft that one. We oh, got yeah. all the wreck saddles crafted though. If you want to take a peek at them. Nice. We hit um, max armor cap on the saddles. Oh, I think if you, if you were gonna make pump shotties though, I'd probably just wait until we can. Craft the, the good ones. Yeah. We only got to do, we get a replicator, don't we, off uh, Gamma Brood? Yep. So we'll do Gamma Brood, Gamma. Like, I think we'll be short element, though. I think maybe the. If we do the beta monkey, I think we'll have enough element to craft a replicator mm. and power it to, to craft those shoddies for the. for the. um the final fight. What, what did you get on them saddles? Or? Uh, three five seven point two is the max armor that you can get. Is it actually? Yep. If yeah. you want to come by, like main base, if you um, look in FedEx. But the Arctic. Oh. No, that one's not craftable either. What's the roll on the three five seven? Like what percentage? Was it forty? Well, that's a weird thing, cause like I got one of them. The What's highest the roll one? I got. The highest roll I got was fifty point five crafting bonus, right? But. It maxed out at 352.7. The next one we got was like 40% crafting bonus, but the armor maxed out at the same as 352.7. So it must be a cap or something. With yeah. like unofficial. Did you just take one out? So, yeah. I took out the blueprint, I'm gonna put it back. The lowest craft bonus you have there is like a 34%er. Actually, you got pretty good rolls on all of them. Oh, they were epic. Well, the, the the lowest roll or the lowest bonus that gave us like the like the capped out armor stash was like a thirty four percent. I need to. Yeah, them saddles are crazy as shit, dude. Like they're really good. Um, so, what do you want to do, Tyrant? Do you want to look for car cars, or...? Yeah, I wouldn't mind having a scout. I have to find my, um... Where's my... my bug? Oh. I want to quickly, before I go out and look for car car spawns with Tyrant, I have to show you guys where we're at with the Rexes real quick, because I said I was going to do that with you guys, and I never did. So 23 mutations and melee damage looks like this. 22, 1, 23. 643 melee damage at birth. 
And then our health. Seventy percent of the explorer notes. No, you didn't. God damn. Shit, dude. I'm gonna. Me and Tyron are doing that tomorrow. We're doing the explorer notes. I'm not doing it today. It can't be asked. It takes eight. It takes. It takes a long time. It's like three hundred and something. It's crazy as shit that you're doing. Wait till you start doing them though, you'll realize some of them are literally like buried. There's one in the redwood that you can barely even see because it's inside the one of the mountains. Hmm. Um. Oh, all the bugs are parked on the pillar, Michelle. Okay. If you follow that guide, I think it's like one at, um, ID 180. Is you'll probably struggle with. It took me ages to find it. Hmm. So, 18 out of 20. It's one of them, you know, the jars. It's one of them jars, but the, it's only the top of the jar is visible. Shit. 18 out of 20 on health comes out to 16.5. Uh, are we checking health. different mountains? Yeah. Give me one second. I'm just showing off the, the theories and the wrecks is where we're at right now with stats and shit. Alright, do you mind if I fly up and pick up the saddle Wait. and start checking the... Okay. Do you mind if I uh, travel with you? Well, on passenger seat. Yeah. Alright. May as well. So, health is up there at 19 out of 20. We're, we're gonna go to 25 mutations on the health, by the way, to maximize the sweet veggie cake. But health is at 15k. 15.3k at birth for the 15 out of 25 that we want to do. And then our melee, I got this morning, is 619 at birth. And this is the base stats of our theory, if you want to look at it. But the OV Raptors are what make that damn thing so useful. I'm just going to get water and then I'll hop on with you. Sounds good. So as, as the plan with the Rex is, we're going to... Upgrade them. Yeah, we have. Yeah, we have to. Yeah, I do. So, those rocks is up there. But we're gonna wait until we just get to health twenty, just so we're a good, like a. It makes um, sense. We're pretty, we're pretty close to twenty, so you may as well just hit twenty, and then say Go that's ahead. good at the rocks. Just combine the, uh, just combine the health and the mana, and just be done with us. Just level them with XP after that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. shouldn't should take long to level them. We have a shit ton of eggs piled up. Yeah, um, I'll hit 20 mutations on the Rexes for health tomorrow, I think. Like, after I'm done streaming, like, I, I should be, like, I'll jump back into breeding. Um, I'll probably hit 19 tonight yeah. and then do 20 tomorrow because of how long it takes for them to grow up. Yeah. This is Tyrant's setup, by the way, for the car cars. This is what he's done. Stop there. Let me look at your setup. If you go back. Hover a little bit closer. So Tyrant has done the blue car car that's in the middle. Our bases are only level 62 because we have not found a high level car car. Oh, he's up in space for me. Is he that in space shit is so rare. Blue one? No, he's down there. Go back down. Oh, yeah. But like, finding a high level car car on this map is so rare. Anybody that's found a high level car car, that shit's actually crazy. Because yeah. like... We found high level Rexes, but like Gigas and Car Cars, we've not found. So Tyrant put together a base and he started breeding them already because the way the, that the new breeding system works, it's very forgiving. So he started the breeding process on those because we're, we're using the Car Cars to mutate for eventually when extinction comes around, but also for the Rhino Ganathas, the Rhinos. If you want to tame a really good one, you need a creature with a lot of mutations that have a high drag weight, which that's why we're breeding the car cars at the moment, because the car car, the Bronto, are really good for that. But we don't ever see us using Brontos, but we can see us using car cars on extinction, so why not breed those now and be ready for when extinction rolls around? It's like a no brainer, you know what I mean?
So I think we're close to Tyrant setup that he has between the Redwoods. So every day at least, what, at least three or four times a day, we head over to the Giga and the Karkar spawn points and we see if there's any high levels that are there. He went out, I think, right before I started streaming and... Wait, did he? I don't remember. Wait, did you- Tyrant, did you come out before I started streaming? Like, did you check the car car spawns or no? Yeah, I didn't see any of them. Oh. So there's still might be a bit more time to spawn. They take so long to spawn, though. That's the thing, like, they take forever. So, how he's killing off the car cars is he's using a thylaco. This right here, this little setup that he's put together, is where we've been smelting most of our metal because it's in the center of the map, and then we just take one of the Argents that has really good weight, and then we carry all the metal back home. All right. So, he has Spencer is the name of Spencer is the name of his um is actually the name of his cat which is what I call it a cat it's a marsupial it's the thylaco and that's actually what we use to take out the the gigos and the carcars Am I going to craft anything or can I take this mine wipe? Uh huh can I take this mine wipe? Oh, are you still do you still have all crafting yes, skills? Yes, dude. <laughs> I thought it was good. Oh my gonna... gosh, what are you doing? All right. Yes, take it. God damn. All right, forty fortitude. I'm gonna do. Oh, hello. Oh, I found it. Do you remember um, when we were oh, fishing five. with the mm -hmm. little magnet logo, and I was like, oh, this. It shows which fish are tracked. It's um, it's aim assist for the controller. Yeah. Pe what? People on Xbox are testing it now. Like um, when you plug a controller in, this game's got like built-in aim assist, and it is crazy. Like say like a seagull, you just aim near it, and you will just stay on it with the uh, the little magnet symbol goes red, and you just aim assist all the way. Wait, they have aim assist on the Xbox? Yeah, like just the strongest aim is no any controller. Plug a controller in on PC and you no, got it. What? No, is yeah. wait, is it just uh, for fishing? No, for everything. So aim wait a minute, people can have aim assist when they PvP and they shoot each other? Yeah, you just plug a controller in. Xbox controller is right. aim assist. I thought it was a magnet to say it was like fish were attracted to it, but it's not, it's aim assist. That's bullshit. Think about no, that. Xbox always, gets, oh, Xbox always has some level of aim assist, though, doesn't it? Well, I don't know what's... Whatever it's, if it, what, whatever if it's like a soft aim assist, or just, you know... Yeah, what's more of an advantage, though? Having a mouse and keyboard to be able to navigate your inventory and command lines and everything. Or aim assist. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. That's crazy. The keyboard's just as much of an advantage over a controller, I guess. It is, but... Like, I mean, there are things you can do with a keyboard that you can't do with, like, a mouse and, like... Or there are things you can do with a keyboard and a mouse that you can't do with a controller, but at the same time, aim assist is like broken as absolute shit. Oh, the aim assist is so strong as well. It was like there, you could tell the people who played like back in the day when I used to play Call of Duty, and like I used to watch other people play Call of Duty. Like you could tell who was on, you could tell who were, who had aim assist because they were on console, and you could tell who didn't because they were on PC. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's a very stiff debate on that because the problem is without aim assist controllers would be horrible to use because you've literally got a little thumbstick as your whole aim whereas a mouse you've got full mouse movement so it, I understand the arguments for both but you this don't... aim assist is ridiculous <laughs> that's crazy I, I, personally I don't because I play between both I jump like I play Destiny I jump on console and then I jump on PC, 
and I soon see that it, even on PC, aiming with a mouse is infinitely easier than aiming with a controller, even with aim assist. Like it's, it's point and click, and it you know if you, you with a with a controller, it's a lot more difficult to quickly aim at stuff than it is with a mouse. See, I, that's crazy though. Like, I, I mean, I don't know because, like, I haven't played on a console since PS4, and that was like, oh yeah, that's crazy. That was at the beginning when PS4 dropped as well. Like, I didn't stay on a PS4 very long. You know what I mean? Like, mm. as soon as I could get a PC, I got one. But that was back, like, my I got a PC when the Extinction map dropped on on ASE. Like, yeah. the first week that ASC dropped, I had a PC. Have you got a, Have you got an Xbox controller? No, dude, I wish I did, because, like, I know how use- how- Man, a, an Xbox controller would be, like, game-changing, because, like, I've always wanted to play with, like, a controller for certain games on Steam, but, like, mm. I just don't have one, you know? I don't really like them anymore, to be honest. Some games- I, I like, used to be a console player. Some games you have to play with a controller, it, like, it, some, it just wouldn't make sense. Especially like racing games, like imagine playing a racing game on a keyboard. Like, mm. No, I, I had great fun using a jetpack in GTA with a mouse and keyboard. <laughs> are you serious, or like, are you... Oh, you should have seen it, it was the stupidest thing ever. I think me, Sam, Knight, and Twisted. And uh, they had already flown ahead, they would killed whatever, you know, boss we were supposed to kill or whatever, and I was still trying to take off. You have to be joking though, because like, that sounds crazy actually, like, how the hell do you do that? I got used to it after a while, but... Mm. The controls were not intuitive. Wait, unexpected, how the heck have you played on a PC, but you... I just don't... What? As I, you know, because I move back and forth That's crazy. between console and PC quite a lot. <clears throat> I just genuinely don't think, even with crossplay, I don't think PC players should be playing with console players. I think that the player pools should just be separate. I agree. It, the, the input, like the control input, you can argue for either side. Like, you know, keyboard, you can just input commands and you know sort your inventory. Like, you can open your inventory, just type something and drop yeah. all. Like on a controller. You cannot do that. Scrolling no, over to each the, letter when you're typing. Yeah. The, the processing that's on a on a computer is going to oh, outweigh like anything that a console could ever do. It's not even the graphics. Like it's just like it's everything with a PC. Like, mm. like you're gonna be number one. Half the people that play on a console are not even hardwired. Like they're playing on Wi-Fi. You know what I mean? Like, no, how many people play on a console and they're directly connected to their with an Ethernet cable, like to Mate. their internet? <laughs> I don't think it's as like third world as you think it is. What? What? With that? The console players these days. Yeah, I mean. I mean, I, don't I think know, most people that take gaming seriously are probably wired in. I know a couple of people that play bloody PC with wireless <laughs> USB adapters. Like Twisted. I think Twisted <laughs> plays on a Wi-Fi. Yeah, and I, I know a couple of people that play on Wi-Fi. That's crazy, the, actually. The problem, is, yeah, it's just it's just a problem. I like Arc PvP, I, I have no idea how they think that crossplay is going to work. You've got pe people people on PC with 100 FPS plus mouse and keyboard. Mm -hmm. The Series X version has just come out. It's 30 FPS at best, and it's controller, so they can't do all the like command. Did you see that guy putting the command line stuff in on Twitch? You had to like stop and type each one, like just to turn mm. his clouds off. Oh, God. Speaking of which, like I'm at 24 frames right now, right? Like I'm at 24 frames right now, streaming this to everybody because I didn't turn my clouds off, right? Watch this. Oh. I'm gonna turn the clouds and the fog off right now. And let's see how many frames I jump up to. Yeah, I doubled in frames right there. Mm. That's crazy. I'm on a 3060 as well. Like that's a that's the craziest shit that I still don't understand about this game and its optimization. Like, I, I I was just saying this earlier to like everybody in chat. It's like I don't agree that they should have put the Xbox version out right now. The game isn't even fully yeah, balanced on PC. Yeah, it's it's not done. How are they putting this out on console? 
I mean, the fact that every now and again there's just a fountain of wild creatures popping out of 50-50. I mean, Sam fast traveled to a bed that spawned at 50-50, and now he sees a green <laughs> portal there whenever he goes by. Did he actually? He didn't. I, I, I put a screenshot in... Um, he woke up at the, the admin chat or something. It, it, yeah, he... He just sees a green portal there now whenever he goes by it. Bro, I'm gonna oh. have to check that out because I haven't seen it yet. Are you talking about the green ball of death? Yeah, the, the little green ball floating above and below the bed. Yeah, yeah I actually did see that. Never mind. <laughs> Wait until you see this aim assist. The, the, there's aim assist. There's like Call of Duty aim assist. And then there's the yeah. aim assist they've put in arc. It is. Honestly, is it, is it full? Is it full on just straight aimbot? It is unreal. There's this. I saw a, a clip on Twitter. There's this girl on the beach, and she's aiming with a, just a standard wooden bow. At, you know the itch Yeah. Yeah. She's aiming at it. Um, you link up the magnet so it like connects, and then she just lets go the controller, and it just follows it constantly. <laughs> Bro, that's actually disgusting. Um... Yeah, it is disgusting. And the thing is, it's an arrow, so it even follows it to where these. You know how arrows kind of drop, so you have to yeah. line up your shot. It'll shoot higher as well, and adjust. Yeah, it, it's locked higher, so it's locked so that the oh, arrow would directly connect with it. No way. Yeah, crazy. You know what though? You'll have to send me that clip because, like, I'm actually curious to watch that. That's crazy as shit. I'll like, find it. I'll send it to you now because yeah. it'll, it'll will blow your mind. Like, back in the day, like, you, like before I did ARC, like, I played Call of Duty, like, I played that on PS4. Played, like, the last COD that I really went heavy into was Black Ops 3, and I was really good at it. And then I remember when Black Ops 4 came out, like, I played that, but that was on PC. And I remember, I sucked really hard at, like, Black Ops 4. And I did not realize how heavy that aim assist was on, on COD 3, because I was on console. Mm. If, yeah, if I didn't have it, like I wouldn't have had like the, the kill death I had on Black Ops Three. Like, I w makes me like believe I was actually garbage. Like, but it's you know like I mean? a, it's like one eighty now because you go on COD. If you play on COD on the console, PC players, it's like they're on crack. Everyone's just like flying around at thousand mile an hour, like jumping. You know what I mean? It's just you literally mm -hmm. feel like disabled on a controller because you just. You know, I don't know. They they shouldn't be together, should they? Like they should be optionally together. Like if you want to play with someone on PC because your mate's got a console, then you know, fair enough, let them play. But I don't think the public loot pools should just be mixed. It's crazy. There's enough players on each platform to have their own. Yeah. Mm, that's that's the point. Watch that. I've just sent it to show. Hannah sent it to her. Oh, you did. Here, I'll yeah. take a peek in a second. No, uh, I, I don't think I can watch it on stream without the volume be coming through, you know? Ah, it's fine. Just watch it yeah. back. I'll watch it back when I'm finished. That, that's crazy as hell, though. Yeah, type... Oh my god, unexpected. I, I remember on the PS4, on Arc... Just seen a guy put another video out. It tracks players. <laughs> as well. No, it doesn't. Yeah, there's this guy, and he's running through the forest, and he's just firing arrows, like, directly at this this other player. Wait a minute. Isn't it meant to be that, like, console players and, like, and Steam players, like, that there's, like, servers that'll, like, allow those two to, to come together to fight PvP? Yeah, just How is that gonna work? Platform. Yeah, there, there is. Servers. I think they're already live now. So... Are they good? Well, you know what? The, the Steam players are going to have an advantage over, like, the Xbox players, aren't they? Because they've already had, like, a month to progress. Yeah. yeah. It's interesting, though, because I would love to see from an Xbox player, like, what it looks like on their part when they start going after some of the PC players. Yeah, one sec. Yeah. There's plus and minuses on both sides, I think. But there's definitely a lot more minuses for the Xbox players. Mm -hmm. like they're already behind, which is crazy. And, you know, they can't just input all this stuff as quickly. Right. Axel, yeah, the aimbotting has to be real. Like, that's crazy as shit. Like, I d did not realize all that. There, I was not realizing... 
that it was that bad. Uh oh. As long as that scorpion doesn't attack us, we're fine. Oh no. I can go into photo mode. So. Hello? Okay. Okay. So you can go in photo mode on the back of this. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You drop your cat. Well, I don't mind. Unexpected, no, there's like, so okay. that was something that me, Twisted, Old School, Tyre, and Sam were talking about. Is that people who are playing, people who are playing PvP, there are servers specifically for cross platform. So I'm gonna test the aim assist here with my controller. Oh, no. Do you have your Xbox controller plugged in? Yeah, I'm gonna plug it in now. Do it. I'm actually curious. Well, we're doing tech leave. You might want to just, uh, you might just want to have a Fabby sniper and just have your Xbox controller, and you just be tapping the drones up the sky. Cap red. <laughs> yeah. You know what? It's not even a bad shot. Cap red. Unfortunately, that will never happen with the whole like. See how crazy it is. I'm just gonna make a primitive bow. Like, consoles will never, ever, 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 ever merge with another console. Try PS and sniper some C. PS5 will never, ever, ever cross platform with an Xbox because they're competitors and they'll never work together to create those types of servers. You know what I mean? They will, however, Xbox will be able to play with like, with like, Steam players because Microsoft and like being able to play across like the PC versions, that's acceptable. But console to console, no, that could never happen. Um, I understand what you're saying though, like, and I agree with you. I actually wholeheartedly agree with you. But the thing is, is that there are advantages and disadvantages for both people who play on certain platforms, right? Like that's the thing that you have to keep in mind is like there are advantages and disadvantages for everyone involved. And there is no proper solution to how to resolve all that, but it's interesting. I want to see what Old School says, because he has an Xbox controller, and he's plugging his in. I want to see what the aim assist is like. Oh yeah, I see it. Oh my god, no. What? It does work. No, it it's, don't. It does, I'm not even moving my controller. What? Oh. Are you streaming? On Discord? Yeah, mm -hmm. on Discord. Um, let me see if I can watch your stream in Discord. The stream keeps freezing for me every now and again. I won't like, be able what? to look long because like I'm streaming actually. <laughs> that is just full on aim bash. No, yeah, you don't dude. To... Look, look, right. I just move my controller over it until I get the magnet. Yeah. And then look, I am not touching my controller <gasps> now. No. Yeah, it's just it's tracking locked it on. fully. No, look, they, they broke them. It's actually good. Yeah, it broke because it was something. moving too fast, but. Let me get it. Uh, that was hilarious. That is disgusting, dude. That's like that's like a controller for a baby. <laughs> what the? F Let's try. Does it track? Oh my god, it tracks onto everything. Water tames. Yeah, look at this on this dialer. <laughs> no way! I'm not even touching the that controller. That is so stupid. So, Still misses. I know you guys can't see his screen and everything because yeah, I'm watching it on my second monitor, but like, he is literally tracking. That's crazy. What he... about with like uh, a sniper? No, dude, dude he's tracking it everything. Does. What the hell? That's crazy. So, what? It does further distance because it's a sniper. What's stopping people from PvP? Because, like, I saw, like, I saw the clips, by the way, of people on PvP. They were lowering the mesh down all the way to, like, so that there was nothing showing. Like, not even the Redwoods. So what's stopping people from PvP plugging in a controller for aimbot assist and, like, sniping people from across um, the map? Well, I'm, I'm calling it now. This, this mechanic for this aim assist will be... Someone will figure out how to use a keyboard and mouse but get with this with this on. as well. Because yeah. I... I well, I can snap back to my mouse whenever I want. 
Yeah. No and then snap way. back to my controller and get the aim assist. <gasps> oh my god, so, so, that's someone crazy. Will figure out, someone will figure out a way to have a keyboard plugged in to like trick the game into thinking that it's a like, like, controller. How strong it is, it just that's magnetizes. Mad, that is actually, I knew it was bad, but it never gets that bad. That's crazy. That is so, that's it's terrible. Still locked on it. That's quite far away as well. Like if that was a player, just gone to the range is quite high. It doesn't do it at distance, thankfully. There's no way that they've. There's no way, by the way, that they would allow that to be a thing that would continue. Like, there's no way. That, if the devs want to keep this game, if they want to keep the integrity of this game up, like they have to remove some of these mechanics. Like that's crazy as shit. It's I mean, oh. a keyboard for a lot of games, or not keyboard, but a controller for a lot of games always has like some slight bit of aim assist. But that is just full on magnetizing and locking onto whatever the hell you're looking at. That's that's basically. I mean, that needs that needs to be dialed back. But that's what it was like when you played on COD. That's ex like the way that old school is showing that shit. That's what COD was like. Hmm. Yeah, that's Damn. pretty crazy. That was. I wonder if Knight's buddy got his egg. I'd say it did. <laughs> I just needed to see it for myself, it. but I thought that I didn't realize this was crazy. this little case. Wow. That's going to cause some controversy for sure. I bet it's already causing controversy. Like, I wish people would actually talk about it a bit more, but I mean... I think it's all just coming out now, because I, th no. um, I think the servers have only just kind of gone point. live. Yeah. No one expected that. That's not a trade-off. Like, there's no way that's a trade-off. I thought that magnet meant that the fish was attracted to my rod, but it was aim assist all this time. Holy shit. There's no way. There's no way unexpected that's a trade-off. If uh, anything, yes, that... Yes, hatched his archie egg. If anything, that is the most game-breaking bug I've ever heard in my life. You know what I mean? It's Nintendo. Right, well, I saw the one giga, so I'm not too sure what the other thing is. <laughs> Cat don't. Oh, it just needs a bit longer to spawn in or something. <laughs> I consider Nintendo a console. I love Nintendo, actually. That's what I grew up on when I was a kid. Nintendo and PS1. I never actually... Believe it or not, like... In the years that I've been gaming, which has been ever since I was so small, I've never owned an Xbox. I've I've always been a PlayStation or Nintendo or like recently, obviously, like PC gamer, you know? Wait, you saw the baby? He has shot the baby? Uh, it looked like an adult. It was saddled. Nice. So yeah, he got his egg. Um, you see if we're low on CP? Um, yeah, if you look at the vault, go look at the vault. Do you want to fast travel to Swamp Thing and just do a run? I'm looking at it right now, there's nothing except for like maybe about 800. Uh, we're still low, technically. You can fast travel if you want to just do a quick swamp run. Yeah, we'll do a swamp run, that's fine. Uh, base female wolf hold and stuff. Oh. Sorry. If I drop all, can I finally get rid of this turret on my inventory? Why don't you... Why don't you no. put anything in your bedroom? I have things in my bedroom. They don't. Yeah, I do. Ah! Stop! Don't you dare. I'm gonna check out his bedroom, guys. Oh, he's being a troll. What an absolute troll and a half. This is his bedroom? What the hell is this? I'm so disappointed. Tyrant. Yeah. No. What? Like, you need a bed in your bedroom. Do I? 
I think so. Why? Oh my god, guys. Please tell him he needs something in his bedroom. Because, like, that is so... I don't even have words for that. It's like, it's sad. His bedroom is sad. <laughs> oh, buddy. No, no, no. Alright, I'm here. Um, I need a mask and then I'm gonna go. Um, I know that whoever was at the beginning of the stream, like, they're probably gone. But if you're curious, this is where we got the Rex BP. We call it the Swamp Cave, but it's really not the Swamp Cave. Technically, it's called the Artifact of the Brute. And it is the Redwood Cave. And I'll show you the coordinates. This is where we got the Rex BP. Hang on. I see you're coming, Catbird. I'm at 67... Hold on. 64.7 by 35. Yeah, your bedroom... Tarn, you only have, like, two vaults in there. Excuse or me. I have large storage boxes. You need, like, a bed in there or something. Like, you need to make it homey. People say bedroom, they just mean a lot of box, isn't that it? He needs like a proper bedroom. So, this particular cave has um, Wait, no. a potential. I think the this cave has a potential of like two art of, um, two red drops spawning. And the way we were farming it was with a Leopold on before, so that we would get double the chances, but... God dang, it took us forever. Even with the buff. It took us a couple of weeks, actually. When we first started this cave, it took us a couple of weeks to actually get the Rex BP. And that was with five people in line at all times, you know what I mean? Unexpected, I love that actually. Homie, not homie. <laughs> That's really good actually. How That's funny, would it funny be if as hell. Rex BP? If we got another Rex BP, like that would actually be crazy. If it was better, then. After crafting. If it was better, yeah, like I would probably lose my shit. No, I mean, we have like bloody max out armor on like bloody nine of those saddles. So, yeah. Or if we found a Therizina saddle BP, like that'd be crazy too. We still don't have a really good BP for a crossbow. Like we have a what, um, an apprentice? Yeah, it's like yeah. 150 weapon damage. That's crazy that we don't got a single good one. No, yeah, maybe this blue drop here will be the one. You know that I picked one up, by the way, pre-made out of a yellow drop, and it's an ascendant one. It's in my vault. Um, We've gotten loads of, like, really good OP Ascendant ones, just not a single good blueprint. Yeah. Holy shit! No way. Oh. Yoink. I just found a Titan of egg. Uh. It's mine. Meh. Grab it. <laughs> I'll show you my room when I get back, cat. Yeah, I'll show you my, um... I'll actually show you, like, the what I've set up. It's not fantastic, but... <clears throat> it's better... Uh, it's better than Tyrant. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> He's got nothing in there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Do you ever... 
Did you ever tim a titan bow? What are they used for? Axel, way back in the day, before the kibble system got implemented in Ark Survival Evolved, so the first game, you would tame titan boas to I can get hear you. your stream, Michelle. I mean, yeah. But way back in the day, you would tame titan boas to tame yourself a Gigantopithecus. So, finding a titan boa egg, a Gigantopithecus is like the larger bipedal monkey that walks on two legs. You know what I mean? Um, it used to have, Evolve used to have its own kibble system, and that was it. Was it the Thyla as well? I remember that the Titan of Boa specifically did the big monkey. Well, the bigger monkey. Damn, Power Shots has got a Moser with this platform saddle. Oh yeah. shit, does he? Pretty high oh, Moser as well, 212. Damn. Is that, is that new, the sound effect for a new team? Those cave drops. Uh, please so. don't tell me. I think he's built his base on one of these notes. <clears throat> oh, has he? I think he might have. I'm going in and now. If built he has, just uh, he's built his base on one of those notes. Yeah, I think he has. Just ask Maybe him to open the door. Floor. No, but it, like, I think he's built it under the... I mean, he can pick up the foundation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. You guys remember. It was the gorilla. <laughs> Y'all call it the gorilla? <laughs> I mean, no, that's cool. So we're doing a CP run, so we always hit up this cave right here. I think power's guiding you right now. Yeah, that's it. I think we're gonna have to run those survivor nodes to ourselves. Damn. I don't mind. No, neither. We'll take a Rhino. Oh, cool. He's actually left. Like, um, cut out left just the note. <laughs> He's like built his base and then left the, the little alleyway where the note is. Ah, oh, good right. man. Good man. Alright, let's go to the artifact and then we'll see if it respawns. Yeah. Man, what's the brute for? Because we have like 50 million of these, like, artifacts. Uh, I forget. Monkey, maybe? Probably monkey. Man, we still need some, uh, Megalania Venom, that's what we're short on. Artifact of the Hunter seems broke as well. I don't know if anyone's been back in there. What you mean? Yeah, <laughs> you literally, you can, the artifact's there, but you open it, there's nothing in the inventory to take. Like, you know what? The artifact of the Hunter was the artifact that appeared at 50-50. Oh, it was. It was. <laughs> Do it's... Oh no, do you reckon it's fixed that? I honestly, this is no word of a lie, I broke a server um, once by accidentally, um, I did something with an admin command next to a, I think I was doing a delete all or a kill all, and I deleted the artifact pedestal and it never comes back. What? Yeah, you can, you can actually delete the artifact and it will never respawn. No way. Yeah, I think it was on. Might have been on Genesis One or something. Not Genesis, Extinction. It was Extinction down in the, you know, the forest bit. Yeah. Yeah, I deleted the pedestal where you put in to summon the Forest Titan. And there's no respawn command for it, like or anything. It'll just never come back. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. So I wonder if Fifty Fifty has busted our. Hunter artifact there. I mean, if it has, and whoever makes it there, like... I, I mean, I wait. could push... 
Why? I could put a vault down there and fill it with artifacts that the hunters were it used to spawn. Yeah, that's a point. And whenever any whenever anyone goes down there, they just take one. <laughs> so you can only take one. I, t I mean, you cool. literally can. You can't have multiple in your inventory. I'm coming down there with a pack of ours. Clear it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. That'd be funny as shit, actually. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm on flight to that cave <laughs> later on. Just... Imagine what's going in there. Just someone's coming out with about 50 hours on follow, just full of artifacts. Cap, right? We had some yeah, serious issues, issues happening. Yeah, just check that. Yeah, we should probably. You might be a lizard in there. Or a Megalosaur. Hmm, that'd be mm. cool. Did you do a down it wipe? Uh, this yeah, morning. I did one we did. this morning. Ah, uh, there might be a Megalosaur. We should... You wanna oh, go I in? Check... We could check the Sarko Cave now I've built that ramp thing. You can just take my Barry down. Do you wanna go with or? Michelle, that's not how you park a frog. You know what, Tyrant? I don't like your attitude, and I think he's fine. Look at him. He's beautiful. She's beautiful. Rub it. I feel my tea's ready soon, so I can't be caving. No, nah, that's fair. Boy, it'd be worth looking. We need a Michael saw. Yeah, we'll look. Leave him alone. Aw, oh, you've broke him. I don't want him to, like, despawn or something stupid. Where am I putting all this CP? I'm just going to leave it on the frog until um, I fly by here later. Thank you. You're welcome. So, I'm gonna fast travel to my bed. Because all my stuff is in my bedroom. Yeah, the server was screwed up, but it's... It's so funny that was a question. We were all questioning, like, what's happened to the hunter artifact? And it was the one... It, another victim of 50-50. My bedroom! <laughs> I have a oh, fireplace. God. How long till we see a broodmont over there? Uh-oh. Um, I'm just gonna take my crap, and yeah. Think me and Tyra are gonna run another cave, because that's what we're doing. Oh, I gotta grab my food. Hey, does anybody in the chat recognize this reference, by the way? Oh, my Roy Royale with cheese. Does anybody recognize that reference? That is definitely made by Sam. Sam definitely made that recipe, but I saw it and I knew immediately what he was referencing. And I want to see if you guys know if anybody is like an OG. Like. <laughs> that is crazy old reference. Alright, where am I gonna put him, guys? I can't drag him because he's too heavy? Come on, Tyrant. I can't drag him because he's too- he's too heavy. He's too faint. <gasps> Mavis, you- you- <laughs> Ah, there's the crash error. Mavis, you got it. <laughs> You've literally nailed it immediately. You literally nailed it. <laughs> La Big Mac. Like, that was... I actually- I don't own many movies, like... I think if I go and look at my shelf, I have eight movies that I own. And Pulp Fiction is actually one of them. Pulp Fiction is one of the only movies that I own. That movie is is absolutely epic. Quentin Tarantino is by far the best director of all time, in my opinion. <laughs> hey, yeah, riding dinosaurs makes you fat. <laughs> Speaking of which, where's so there's by the way there's my bug, Magnus. Magnus was the highest level. Rhino Ganatha that we tamed on the server. Well, not on the server, but the highest level that us in the tribe tamed. Mine was level 45, and I think it tamed out to 70, and I popped levels into nothing but stamina. Those are my stats. We fed it one of our Rexes, which is why it has higher melee damage. Did I miss the saddle crafting? Huh? You did. Yeah, huh? you missed it. We get good on nine of the saddles. We hit the armor cap for saddles. If you uh -huh. change, 
We have not emptied out FedEx, your bird, but it's all in your bird, and it's inside of the base. Kind of okay. want to look at it, you know what I mean? Right on. Nah, let's go saddles, man. Um, you know, the only crappy thing, Sam, is that we can't craft any, um... We cannot craft any of the BPs for the shotguns. Babby. Yep, exactly. Do any Tames classes fabricate? I guess they don't. No. It's a point though, they should have done that. I lost connection. Do you want me to go get the cement and paste while you're trying to reconnect? And I'll bring it back okay. to base. Pig saddles. Jesus, that's a rough cat. <laughs> um, no, nah, those were wreck saddles. They were one hell of a craft, though, I'll tell you what. Took all the resources we had in the base. I'm just flying over to the redwoods so I can get the cement and paste. Um, we have a little base set up over there. We need the cement paste dearly, because, like, we're going to need it for the polymer that we craft. And for the eventual shotguns that we craft as well. I think the only thing, guys, that we're actually missing, by the way, for us to start the boss fight, is... I'll do this during the week. Like, I won't do this on camera, but I'm going to craft some okay, of the theory good. blueprints. Um... I'll craft a... I'll craft all the theory BPs that we have, and I will also craft yeah. any UD saddles you know, that I'm we have. I'm not taking that bloody squid out yet. Hmm. You should take it out when we get the chibi. Yeah, that's gonna be the way to get alphas, isn't it? Damn. So, do you want to run that cave then, or...? We got no. I think all the other frogs are empty. Nope, right here. So, I'll put all the cementing um, paste there. I can go and get my berry, I guess. Where's your berry at? Center of the map. Sorry, cat, but we gotta prep. That's one of the things that, like, people don't show, though. That's what- like, I know this is not, like, entertain- like, it's not the most entertaining of all things, but, like, People don't get it. This game is so much prep work, and like you need to see what that looks like, because otherwise it's just not—it's not accurate at all. There's so much prep work for a boss fight. Like you guys haven't even seen half of the breeding that we've done, because like when I go when I stop streaming, by the way, off camera. Oops, I left. Can I access that bag? Oh, um. But half of the work that you guys see, by the way, is, like, off-camera, and that is legitimately, like, us breeding. And I don't stream everything that we do in the game, because otherwise, like, it just wouldn't... It would be a bit, like, you know, repetitive. So, I don't stream all of the mutations that I get. But it's very easy to understand. It's not difficult. Is there anything- I'll take the boa, venom, the egg. Ah, uh, the chili, yeah. I think that's it. I'm not gonna take anything else. Tighten the boa venom, yep. 
So we're actually caught for Megalania Venom like at the moment to summon the bosses, I think, is the only thing we actually need. There might not be much action going on, but you can interact with the Yeah, exactly. Like Axel. That's the thing, it's like that's the only reason why, like, you know, I, I stream and stuff is because, like, I actually genuinely really enjoy talking to everybody and, like, gauging with you guys. I love this game a lot, and I like to be able to play it and then work out, like, some of the things that are going on at, at the time while I'm playing, you know? Like, there are challenges in this game. But... So this was our original trap for capturing the rhinos, but we wanted to figure out how you could get multiple impregnations off of like the same rhino, and we figured out how to do that. Um, I think this is foundation. Is that core stag? I think that's core stag, right? Hey. Yeah. Is, is Foundation core stag? Uh, yeah. Is it? Yes. Okay. And then Dreg's the Empire. Dreg is Empire, yeah. Okay. And then Knight and Falcon are... Are the Forsaken One. Forsaken One. I'm watching him actually right now. He did hatch oh, out that Argent. Back. No. Knight's buddy, Falcon. Ah. I'm so tempted just to fly over on the Rhino, but I'm not gonna do it, because I'm not trying to freak him out or nothing. <laughs> nah. But I'm glad he got the Argent hatched out. Nah. Honestly, it's a better improvement. I'm s like, I feel bad that his, like, his other Argent died, Same but... That's arc. Yeah, game of loss, right? Like you say. So, this is Tyrant's Trap. It's effing massive. It's huge. And it works and it doesn't. It's so hard to explain, but you can kite rhinos no, into I'd the trap. I'd say you probably got a pretty good upgrade. It's amazing, actually. Um, we've gotten multiple by doing our the setup that we Not do. Not often you say that bird dying was the best thing that happened to me. <laughs> the rhino trap that he has is honestly the best setup that we've ever had for getting multiple impregnations. So, yeah, crazy stuff. Um, I have the cementing paste all in this thing. Nice. Where exactly is that circle cave now again? I think I know where it is. Are you heading over there? I mean, I, mean, I have my battery picked up. I'm kind of flying to the rough area. I don't know exactly where the cave entrance is. Then. I don't know where my berry is. Oh wait, your Barry was in the middle of the map. I was picking up your Barry. Oh, you are? Thank you. Yeah. Mine's up at Carnival Islands. Um, Which I could just use old school's Barry. I'm I mean, stealing these ghillie the pants <laughs> that I got from the drop from that cave because they're really good. Fair enough. For right now, I'm gonna temporary dump the riot. That, 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 that. Uh, let's go over here. This is where we're keeping all of our tribute stuff. So this is all the tributes that we've collected on the server. 
Yeah, we only have eight Megalania toxin. We have a ton of artifacts, though. I mean, the water caves, though, for those of you that are actually, like, interested, the water caves are very brutal. Um, I need to, in my own time as well, too, for those of you that are interested, I'm gonna breed- so I have an otter here that's level 143. This is gonna breed with this, like, male otter right here, 163, and we're gonna get a base off of these so that we can start breeding otters for their melee, weight, and health to bring into the tech cave. I'm upstairs now. Uh huh. Oh! There you is. Um. So, do you want to run that cave, Tart? Yeah. Should I, I head over there? I have a rally point to drop. Wait, what's that? Was that a wall to run you, or? It's not me. I think that's a wall to run you right next to this one cave entrance. I'm trying to. What level is it? I'm trying to see. It's in a bunch of trees. Uh, male one four five. God damn you! <gasps> Are you joking? Uh, dude, what? That's the second one four five uh, male that we've had. Guys, we had a one four five female rhino on the server, and we did not get an impregnation off of it because it bugged the hell out, and it ended up dying. Doesn't matter. Take a while to kill. I'm coming to you. I have a shotgun. Unexpected. I might do that off camera, though. That's yeah, the only thing. I can see a damn thing. I can show you my setup. I gotta see him. I'm helping you. No, you're not. What do you mean? I'm attacking it right now. No, I don't see him. Are you watching the stream? I don't know, I'm watching my screen. If you're watching your screen, I'm right next to you. No, I don't see him. Bring it down lower, Tyrant. Bring it down to the ground. Bring it down to the base. Yeah, it's, it's almost dead. Oh. Never mind then. I got the, the thermal. Oh. So, if y'all are curious... I in seven hours in my inventory. Or on the rhinos inventory. Guys, if you're curious, you cannot tame the male rhinos. You have to you have to kill the males to get the pharaoh to feed to get the females to impregnate you. So you have to use you have you can only tame the female rhinos. It's so crappy, but they're amazing. That's such bullshit though. Like we see a 145 on the server and of course it's it's a male. You get me? Like that's how it works. That's arc. But that's why I love this game. He parked his up there. So yeah. You um, gotta see what old school did to this cave. It's awesome. He actually built inside of it. Do you have I... tranks and things just in case there is a... No. I have a single trank. That's it. Well, I guess let's see if there is one in here or not. Yeah. Um... Honestly, we just need the Megalania Venom, if anything. Dead Island Cave is kind of sorting us out for that. And I'm at base, so if you need me to run your stuff, I can always do that. Right on. These I've voids is making me sleepy. <laughs> I've not been in this cave as much, so I'm not as familiar with the layout. I think you're going the right way. It's just down, I think, is what it is. There's those close thing. Yes, yeah, so this is what our buddy built right here. You can only build on PvP or unofficial servers, like 
PvE servers official, you cannot build in them. But... Meh. Otherwise, you can only take- by the way, if you are interested, this cave, which we call Sarko Cave, you can only take a raptor through this cave. That's the only thing that'll fit. Did you go up? Ah. I think you have to go up. Or I'm lying. Isn't it keep going down? Maybe. So weird. I could have sworn I heard something. Oh, like a like a bayonet or a pegasaurus. No, like a drop. Oh. Watch your health. I had to take off my shirt and my 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 pant armor because because of the flak heat. Is there? No. Yes! What'd you Kind get? helmet. Ugh, oh, get out of here with that. Got a grenade. Are you coming up? Yes. Nice. Alright, let's go this way. I think it's in the water, right here, if we jump in. I'm gonna get this Arthur Puller real quick, though. I'm already in the water. So guys, you take your armor off when you're fighting Arthur Pleura because they literally- If you're wearing flak, otherwise they'll just chew through it instantaneous if you're on a mount. Um, it, it's- honestly, it's really disgusting. So that's why I'm gonna put this back on. So I have to be careful here because like I don't have scuba. I wanna say it's down this way if you go through this tunnel here. There's a pocket right here. That's a hard no, Axel. You cannot breed Megalania or any creatures that drops tributes and get the drops off of them. It doesn't work like that. No, you, you can't do it. It's, it's never been a thing in the game. Like, you, you can't do it. Turn- you've never heard of anybody ever. You, or you guys listening. You cannot breed any of the creatures to get the drops off of them. No. Like, it's no, never been a thing in the game. No. Like, otherwise people would just literally raise up, like, woolly rhinos and get the horns off them to make the broth of enlightenment. People would have, like, done the UDs to get the hearts, or the gigos to do the hearts. No, you gotta hunt for that shit. People are saying you can do it with Megalania Toxin, though. What, is Megalania the only good. creature you can do it with? Or is that what you all are saying? Uh, no, unless you can milk the toxin out of them. But... I've never tried it, I actually. Know, I, know, I, I know all the other ones, like, like the common ones, like, Spinal, Rex, RG, you, you, you can't, because you're, you're literally harvesting a body part of them, but toxin I could see being the same, because I mean, you extract the toxin out of them, kill them or something. Uh, I'm a, well, I've never tamed, like, I'll be fair, like, I've never tamed Megalania. 
like I never went out of my way to tame Megalania because like there's they and weren't yeah. yeah they weren't useful. No. I had some when Ragnarok released. Really? So... No freaking way. But I, I didn't try taming a Megalania. I never did breeding. We'll try, with guys. It. I'm sorry, I gave you misinformation then. Just the Megalania. Okay. Well, shit. I eat my own words in. I always remember any time we were doing bosses, that was we were always pressed for toxin or Sarko skin. Yeah. Sarko skin, Titan above venom, or the toxin is what we were always caught for. Can you, you bring can't get Giga Hearts from TM Gigas. Nah, you can't get the- yeah, you can't get the Giga Hearts. You have plenty of those anyway. Yeah, we've been breeding Gigas like crazy. I can't get up. You gotta try harder. We have, we have plenty of hearts, I mean. Oop. The hearts are only used for the Alpha Tech Cave though, right? Or for the Tech Pretty Cave. Sure. Yeah. Shit, well if you can do that with the Megalania, okay. I'll, I'll breed some Megalania, guys. I mean, I'll just do it for the toxin. If that's the case, find out if they change that. Damn, that's crazy. I, I did mean, not know that. I it's worth testing. I, I'm not against that. Um, Cause that might be obviously something that's different. The DOS, the, the wiki does not say anything about, like, in the notes about that, and Megalania Toxin neither says anything about it. But, you know, yeah, like I said, I, I would be willing to test it. Well, the, the ARC wiki don't even say anything about, um... Oh, no way! Yeah, it says right here. Um... When eaten, you can also find two Megalania toxin in the inventory of all newborn Megalania babies or newly tamed adult Megalania. Repeatedly knocking out a Megalania will result in two Megalania toxin generating in some inventory each time. This, Holy yeah. shit. Yeah, so. There you go. We do, when we find them, we don't need to kill them. We need to get a male and a female. Yep. Thank you, chat. Y'all are, right. are freaking awesome. Well, we only need that for we only need five for base and monkey and ten for alpha. I'm a dumb dumb. Uh, we, have, like... we have we have we have is is it? I mean, we need I, to tame like at least them. one for. Well, we have eight Megalania venom. Is it's ten to summon the boss, right? Isn't it ten? Yeah, it just can't hurt to have a male and a female and then have infinite toxin. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Also, I've got a ascendance crossbow pre-built. <gasps> Aw, get out of here. Can I see it? It's always the pre builds. Oh, yeah, it's always a pre built. 281, what's mine? Mine's a. Mine's slightly 6%. That's still damn good, though, honestly. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, Tigress, on that. Shit, dude. That's so weird, though, because, like, why can you do it with the. the that doesn't make any sense, though. Like, why can you do it with the Megalania, but not with, like, the UD? Why can why is it only the Megalania? Because, like, we've bred everything else. We've bred UDs. In my gameplay of this, of, like, Ark Evolved, we, we played with, um, um, I bred with UDs. I've bred with, um, let me think carefully about that. I've done UDs, I've done what Gigas, I've done Car Cars, I've done Theories. We've done basically everything. I don't, actually I can't say for Sarkos. But it's just so weird. It, why that that's a thing. That makes sense, Michelle. Why? Because... I mean, I feel like you should be able to do it with Titanobol as well, but you can't. Because, like, people milk snakes further venom. Without yeah. having to kill the snake. No, I've seen people doing it. I've seen, like, there's, like, people that actually make, like, hundreds of thousands of dollars. Like, doing that's it. their job. And they do it for a living. And they milk snakes all year. You know what I mean? For, like, really rare yeah. venom for antitoxin and shit. But. So you can milk. So you milk the lizards for their venom. I guess in our. But, um. At teams, you'd have to kill them to get their parts. Because, you know, it's an actual body part. It's a lung, or a sail, or an arm, or a leg. Hey, can I make this a lot easier? Do you have, um, grapple hooks on you? 
Sure don't. God damn it. <laughs> Let me try. I got one shot in my in my chamber here. Mm -hmm. I know where it's at, by the way. I know exactly where the artifact is. artifact is. Oh shit. You missed. Yeah, well, oh no, it actually consumes it even if it doesn't land. Yes. That's bullshit. All right, well, let's go back. I it's right there. Like it's straight ahead. Yeah, I know no. where the artifact is. And we don't need it. You always abuse it on the island for easy boss fights. Yeah, no, I get it. That's it's just weird, dude. Like that's I'm not I'm not saying like I disagree. Oh. Rabies. Yeah, let's get the hell out of this cave before we die. Because I don't have any, um, med either. Alright, how do we get I out? I have royals with cheese. Alright, to get out of the cave, we go up. Shot an arrow. Did I really? I'm dumb as hell. I gotta go get some anyway. One, yeah, we we desperately need. We do desperately need to get um some megalanias in, cause like that's what we're caught for at the moment, guys, for summoning in the boss fights. I'm just trying to keep separate. No, you're fine. I'll go first. No. If I just die, like you know why. Alright, but I don't if remember. You have a royal with cheese pop it. Yeah, I've got it. I'll be honest, I have no idea where I'm going. As long as you're going up, you're going the right way. But I want to say I go left here. Go left at the intersection. When you come up to the. Yeah, go left. Left. Yep. Isn't it always right? No, go left. Trust me. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because it's in the right bit. Are your rabies gone? Uh, yeah, my rabies are gone. Are yours? Yeah. Okay, still stay away because I think you have cooties still. Excuse me? Huh? Dude, I don't trust you. Why? Because <laughs> you'll be like, uh, I don't have the rabies anymore. And then all of a sudden I just hear you come up behind me like coughing. That's Sam. <laughs> yeah, I that did is... that to your face. Yeah, that was Sam actually. <laughs> okay, I really have no idea where I'm going. I like, I know I'm close to the entrance, but... Exit. It's here. Alright, let's get some grapples. Do we need to get that out of that? Um, isn't it for the bird mother? We already have one though. Why why did we run that cave? Like I have no idea. Was it for I the... don't know, you were, just, you were just saying, let's run the cave, and I was like, oh, okay, sure. I think it was for the toxin. But we didn't get it. Well, no, the Dead Island's cave for the toxin. What? Dead Island cave is for the toxin. Dead Island cave. Yeah. Or Karen Wilds. But you can't... But isn't... Didn't we say that, though? Like, wasn't that an issue with this? Like, you can't actually tame Megalania from Karno Island. I don't think. Which but which cave to is tame it? Them, no, old school was saying it. Old school, are you there? What? No, old school was saying there's a cave that you cannot bring, or is it the Megalosaurus that you can't bring out? Oh. Wow. There's a cave that you couldn't bring them out. You know, we, let's go to Carno Island. Let's see if we can tame a Megalania. You want to do that? I need to go to base first and 
Yeah, no, no, I need to get, like, kit and shit, too, but... I have to run like I have trunks. I, I don't have trunks. No, you can tame them there, Tigress. I just don't know if you can bring them. There's a cave that you cannot bring. Like, you can tame stuff inside of it, but bringing it out is like a pain in the butt. You know what I mean? I want to say it's like... It might be... We were talking about Megalosaurus because we wanted to tame some before we got to Aberration, before that map dropped. You know what I mean? Honestly, that'll probably be the last thing I do on the stream with you guys is I'll go to Carno Island and I'll check and see if we can tame the Megalania that are inside the cave because y'all definitely got me really curious about that. If we can find them, Axel, that's a thing. Because I don't know if, like, I don't know if there's an abundance of them. We went into Carno Island already twice. It was two or three times. And I could only find one inside that cave. And that was out of the two times that we went. You know what I mean? So I'm not sure if it's just, like, a really rare spawn for, for a, a wild tame on ASA. So, I need shocking darts. I'm gonna take half of those. And I'm gonna take some kibble. And I'm gonna get some grapples, because that's really kibble. important. What? I have kibble. Um, I'm gonna bring grapples, just in case. I'm gonna bring medbrews. Wait, Power, you were trying to do Megalania too? Um... Are you talking- Axel, are you no, talking about- should I pick up your Barry on the way there? Hey. Eh? Should I pick up your Barry on the way there? Yeah, if you want to. Mine's already up at Karno. Okay. Now, if you want to pick it up, um... I'm gonna hang back for like two seconds here. No, I'm gonna pick that up, sorry. Axel, are you talking about the cave that's over... Right here? Where my cursor is right now? Are you talking... When you say you're in the south cave, are you talking about... We call it the lava cave. It's on the southeast side of the map. Power, I've never really used them. Like, that's the thing, is like... I've never really used Megalania ever in this game. I remember back on console, when they first released them, I was on PS4. And I remember I went into one of the- I went into one of the caves, I tamed them. And I remember them being so spacky and janky on controller that, like, I literally just didn't even take it with me. I was like, screw this. It's not even worth it. What's up, Cory? How you doing? Like, some of them caves, by the way. No, not the lava cave. What you on about? Are you talking about right here, Axel? Hold on. Uh, ch -ch -ch. where am I? When you say the south cave, the only other cave I can think about is right here. Look, Power's got his stuff here right now. If you look, I'm at eighty-five. By 54.2, right here. Is that the one you're talking about, Axel? Like, I know what you're talking about, but like, I've never seen Megalania in that cave. If you're talking about the one I was just at, I've never seen them in there. I've seen them... Personally, I've seen them in Carno Cave, and I've seen them in the Lava Cave. That's... That's it? I think. Yeah, I've never seen them. There, nothing is in the artifact of the Sky Lord except for the bats and spiders. I think. The artifact of the Strong, the hardest cave in the ice, has Yeti, polar bear, Perlovia. And I think direwolf, right? Okay. I mean, if it's in there. I can check it out. 
I mean, I'm really curious now. Like, I will tame up to Megalania. Because if you can just farm the toxin like that, I'm sorry, but that's broken as shit. Like, I don't think that that should be a mechanic in the game. It seems kind of wrong that you could farm the boss, like, essence. Um, hey, power. No, power just to work again. Yeah, power just ran the cave. He said it's fine. Okay. That's good, actually. <laughs> what? It probably did break because it ended up at 50 50. <laughs> For a brief That's... moment, yeah. That's funny, actually. I mean, it's not, but it, you know, it kind of is. To Sam, are you um breeding Argents? Mm -hmm. Did any mutations today or uh, today? None, Ooh. four yesterday. You gotta be due for one soon. Yeah, Well. Level 70 Rex, that's literally hot garbage. I love this thing, by the way, the Rhino. Watch me scare this. Bye, buddy. They're, they're very nice, by the way. I'm like, we would love to go get a high level Rhino. We've had opportunities to tame ourselves as a high level female. The reason why we haven't done it is because we really I, I'm ideally just have nothing to sacrifice. That's a it knight's body, Falcon. Mm -hmm. Um, if he's still on, someone should invite him to the alliance so that there's no more friendly fire nonsense. Oh yeah. Drink um, do you want to head him up in global and ask him if he's uh, still online and wants to join the alliance so that way there's no more? Well, I'm up at Carnival now, and I'm pretty sure he's down south, so... Well, we'll knock out Carnival and then on the way back down now. My CPU is older than yours, Tigris. I have a... I have an i7-8700. I mean... It's fine. One, two, how you doing? How are you doing? Good afternoon to you. Uh, we crafted up some saddles earlier in the stream for the boss fight that we're going to do on Saturday. We're going to do the Gamma Broodmother, Megapithecus Dragon, and Overseer. And then the Beta Monkey on, uh, on Saturday. Man, it's going alright. I'm just trying to enjoy, like, you know, just trying to enjoy this, uh, this, this time before, like, we got Thanksgiving over here in the States, you know? So it's a busy time for us. Yeah, may as well see what's in it, right? It's a red drop. Yeah. Joe, how you doing? How are you doing? Man, it, it, like I said, I'm doing all right. We've made a lot of progress for boss fights today. Like, we didn't do a boss fight. I just want to be clear for those of you that are just tuning in. But like, we've, you know, we've gotten to the point where we can start them on Saturday. That's garbage. Uh, there's a garbage red drop. I know, right? Like, this is this is definitely my new favorite creature Help. in the game. Hmm? Help. Where are you? In the box.
coming. On the way. 200 meters. What do you mean you're in the box? Help. Oh. What do you want me to do? Oops. Move the ARGs or something. Yeah, yeah. Stop moving. There you go, buddy. Oh. How are you not- Okay, hold on. Oops. Oh. Oh. Maybe pick up the foundation. I'm gonna- Yeah, stop moving so I can see what foundation you're on. There you go. Nope. Tyrant. Yeah. Are you serious? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Uh. Alright. Where'd you put your, uh, your bug? Oh, I see it. Wait a minute. Is that a second red drop coming down? Yes. Can we wait for that? Help. There's a red drop. I'll run over to it. It is it is definitely my favorite creature though, the the Rhino Ganatha. Um our what time mine is was it for you, uh it's only two thirty three. But my Rhino was like <laughs> Built from the ground up. It's bullshit if I ever did hear it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't say that out loud. Um, <laughs> but yeah, the Rhino is definitely my favorite team. Definitely my favorite team. Like, ours was like a lower level. No, dude. Honestly, tigers. Nobody, like the people. By the way, who are sh uh, like Can I want to near the entrance. Like old school and us were talking about this. People who are streaming the game, oh. who are streaming ASA, and they're playing the game at like max settings, like on a forty ninety Ti card with like four K monitor. That's got to be like, you know, one percent of the people who are actually playing that shit on those settings. Who in their right mind? Like I, I don't know. I don't know anybody. I don't play with anybody. And I don't know anybody that has a 4090 card. What is this dog shit? Alright, let's go. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> I'm over it. <laughs> like, I just got the most random shit ever out of both of those red drops. Oh. I'm not helping him. Like, I don't know anybody that actually has a 4090 card. Um, they're too expensive, dude. It's like... You're behind me? Yeah. Yeah. Like, a 4090 card, by the way, the last time I looked was like... For me, it was like over... It was like over oh, $1,500. I don't have $1,500 to, to spend on a graphics card. I don't even have, like, I don't even have a 2K monitor, you know what I mean? I just took that Lazarus. So I can spend more time in the water. Why not? Oh, I see a middle lane, yeah. Where? Across the way to the right, kind of where like the first one was that we saw. Hang on. When we first Is came it... in, I'm just <gasps> kind of see, see any more. No, no, Barry, what are you doing? It, it auto walked. No, it auto walked. Uh huh. No, it did, dude. That was bullshit. 
I swear to god, I auto- I- I jumped off the berry. I was scoping with my- with my magnifying glass and it started doing the- the auto walk. Aw, oh, dude. Ah, uh, Well, we- That's fine. Yeah. I mean, we have to make our way out anyway, so... That was actually funny as shit, though. <laughs> I got the artifact. <laughs> oh, goddamn. Alright, you got artifact. Uh, yeah. I guess keep an eye out for mortals on the way. What? It's Megalania? Just a spider. Uh, Dude, did you see the spider here? No, there's no spider there for me. Uh, there's a spider there for me, level 95, female. Honestly, though, that that was actually bullshit. It, like, so I went like this, right? I went like this with the spyglass, I started walking forward, and then I jumped off, and then it started doing the whole auto-walk. Like you don't forward. see the scorpion either? No, your game's broken, dude. Nope. Okay. It's auto- Decent sword and kind of BP. Dude, the, I think the Baryonyx is just cursed. I need a Gamma up. Gamma 5? That's really disgusting, but I have to. You know what it is, though? You know why the Baryonyx is messing up? The Baryonyx is only messing up, by the way, when I pull something out and I'm on the back of it. It's hmm. like, you know what I mean? Like, I just pulled the shotgun yeah. out to put the light on. Where's this Megalania? Is it across uh, the way? So, need sack a sack. That's the normal way up. Warrior, uh, no. It's above us, up to the left somewhere. Warrior, no, we have not fought the boss yet on Saturday, by the way. we So, we crafted the saddles earlier in the stream, and we basically, like, aren't getting ready for the boss fight. On Saturday, we plan on... On Saturday, we plan on, uh, fighting the boss, you know what I mean? Vinny, I'm on my own server. We've rented a server through Nitrata. We're on an unofficial server. I'm playing with my friends. And like people that I've known for for a few years, you know what I mean. I see it. I I it's right there. Level twenty five, male. Do you want me to trank it? Tyrant. Yeah. I see it. Yeah. Do you want me to trank it? I'm just seeing if I can spot more. Should we go back up to the entrance? You want to? Yeah, and trank it from there. Okay, yeah, it can do. Uh, it, it's a 25, it'll knock out in like one or two darts. Yeah, that's true. So the reason why we're waiting for Saturday is because Saturday is a better time to stream anyway. And also... Knocked out close to the entrance be there. Right. Some of the guys that we play with they're only available on the weekends anyway. Like, Twisted right. is busy. Most of us have, like... Passive. Most of us have jobs, and most of us, like, have, like, families and stuff that we have to take care of during the week, so... That's why we're gonna wait for Saturday. Because, like, it's just a like, chill time to do it, you know? And plus... 
I think it'll be fun if all of us are together the first time we do a boss fight. I'm bringing overkill, sir. Where? I don't even. Oh, right there. Oh. Didn't think he just dropped like that, but. Where'd he go? He just dropped down. Is he unconscious? No. Not with one arrow. Off a primitive bow, arguably. Wait, did you have a trank bow or. Or trank arrow. Trank arrow. Why didn't you let me wall. hit it? Because I wanted to see if it'd like wall climb up here and then we can knock it out by the entrance. Because oh. we didn't bring a saddle, did we? So we're gonna have to like get it once it's stained, we're gonna have to get it to walk up. Yeah, that's true. Well, we're not gonna be able to uh, get it to I walk up. I, 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 I see him from here. Where's he? Uh, you could shoot off. You see the blue mushroom? Uh, Just over that. Which way are you? Which way are you looking? Uh. Back. I'd say you might need to be around the back of the barrier to see it. Okay. Here, let me try. I see him. Thank you. See if you knock him out, I suppose. Is he on the path? Yeah, we'd be able to get to him. Got him. He's knocked out. What is he? How many kibble is a twenty-five gonna take? Like nothing. Uh, not a clue. Damn, the torpedo's dropping quick on that. Do you have any, uh, narcotic? Uh, I'll have to my bloody... ...thing. I have two narcobars. I wouldn't put the kibble in it, just in case. I need to see how much it tames by. You can always shoot it with another trank there. It's only 25, we don't care about the level, do we? No, we don't need efficiency on a Megalania. It's 25. Um, am I wrong? Don't they- don't these things also spawn in the lava cave? I have not clue. I thought they did. Chat, help me out with this. <laughs> don't they spawn in the lava cave? I'm pretty sure they do. There's food dropping. Sorry, my gamma is like really high. It looks really gross. I know it does, but I have to in the cave because it's so damn dark. I'll put it back to normal as soon as we hit normal. Like, normal land. If you want me to drop another trink in it, let me know. Well, let I think I have a shot from here. And children, you take one kibble to tame, and it'll take four minutes, six seconds. Okay. So. For those of you that are curious, I'm looking over at my other screen to see where the stream is at. And as I'm talking right now, I'm shooting the gun. But I've been sitting here with my spyglass, like, not doing anything, just watching Tyrant for the past, like, I feel like it's delayed by, like, a minute. It's crazy. It's actually crazy how much of a delay there is on the stream versus, like, actually what I'm doing at the moment. Does that make sense? Like, there's a, there's a very big stream uh, delay. Thank you, one, two. I appreciate it, buddy. Oh, buddy. So, yeah, I think, um, I think he's gonna need another dart in that. So, one way that you can, like, aim properly, I remember with, like... Do you want to test the delay? 
With what? And just say something to me and the chat and I'll tell you. Like what? That'll do. Yeah, that'll do. I'll let you know when you say, like what, the second time around. Yeah. The way that you can get a perfect aim is if you spyglass something. I should be able to hit like that. Like what? Not so much of a delay there is. Also, this thing shouldn't need any additional narcotics, so you should be fine for... Don't shoot? Yeah, don't shoot. Yep, there it is. Uh-huh, there we go. Well, yeah. I need to get this damn thing out. I'm on normal latency. Which is crazy. Like, uh, I would I would think that normal... Follow distance on the list. ...would be fine. Well, this. I really want to shoot him. I also figure it's way around. Power has a, sh a saddle and he's right outside the cave, he said. Oh, do you want to go get it? Yeah, I'm going to go grab it from him. Thank you, Power. Oh, shit. Thank you, Power. I'm going to come grab that saddle real quick and then we'll walk it out of the cave. So, if anybody else on the server finds a female, then we'll have like a male and a female to, to really test that. To see if it works on ASA. It, like, it might have worked on ASE, but maybe not ASA. Thank you so you much, buddy. Outside the cave. What'd you say? I'm gonna take my Barry out, and I'll ride the Megalania out. Okay. Let me see the saddle. Holy crap, where did he pick up? Oh, that's a really good. <laughs> yeah, it's a really good sound. God dang, power. Alright, <laughs> stay there. So this cave's got him, that's for sure. I mean, we've seen it before, but... Let me see if I can find... Oh, he put it over there. Didn't I bring grapple hooks with me? I sure did. Tyrant, do you want me to... No, I'll let you run it over there. Here, the saddle's inside of my Baryonyx. Do you want grapple hooks just in case if you fall? That oh, should be good. Take them. I really want to shoot him. Just one shot. I'll just- one time, I'll just- If he goes up the ramp- Okay, hold on. <laughs> if that would've hit him, I, I swear I would've lost- I would've lost my crap there. <laughs> How do you control this thing? They're, they're really difficult to control. That's why, like, I never used them. Isn't it, like, similar to, like, a rock drake? Like... Oh, right click, too. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> that would have been really funny if I had connected that shot. Now, here's the other thing. Who knows what they swim like? Not a clue. If you want me to, I'll lead the way. Boop. And you're at the bottom, aren't you? Yeah, I clung to the mushroom. Oh no, that spider's real. Do you want me to come d here? I'm coming down. I'm going up. Oh, you are? Yeah. 
I have to make sure, guys, that he gets out okay, because that's like the only Megalania I think that's on the server right now. So, if that's the case with the whole toxin, then we really want to make sure we get that out alive. Even if it's a shit low level. Really need it. You almost got it. Oh, sh you're up. Well done. Yeah, it swims all right. Does it? Yeah. I was really worried, actually, how it would swim. Yeah, it's a lizard. Lizards swim fine. They're reptiles, like birds. There was this thing I was watching, by the way, like, um, so in the United States, like, you know, Florida, like, that's like its own country, basically. Uh, it's, it's really not, it's like its own state, like, in the south, but, you know, it's, it's weird. Is it a state? Yeah, it, it's, you know, it's kind of like Texas, and I really don't want to say California, because I know a lot of people that actually live, like, we know a few people live there, but anyway. So Florida, like, has, like, I was watching this thing, iguanas, like, have become... Like, very, I guess, like, accustomed to, like, you know, part of the south in the Everglades, but, like, they swim. And I had no idea that they actually swim. Yeah, go on and swim. Yeah, you I had no idea. watched that 1998 Godzilla movie? No, I've never watched any of the Godzilla movies. Ooh, Alpha! Help. Wait, it's not Alpha. Yeah, warrior. Did you see me hop off the Baryonyx, by the way? Um... If you- if you watch, when I fell down that hole, when I fell down at the bottom, I jumped no. off my Baryonyx last minute because fall damage when you're on I'm a I'm gonna leave my Barry here again so I can fly the Megalania back. Are you- what, yeah. what are you doing with your Barry? I'll just leave mine here. If yours is here, I'll leave mine. Like, it makes right. sense. It's better to run this cave with two people, isn't it? Um, well, if we get a female teams, we'll just pop babies out like um, crazy. Yeah, we won't need to um, run it. Um, do you guys? Do you guys? Uh, I'm gonna let you decide here. Like, uh, I'm gonna kind of like choose like two options here. I I could either end the stream now as it is, or one thing I really need to do is I need to pop a few eggs out to get the next mutation rolling on health on the theories. Do you guys want to see that? I don't know. They're taking your own thing. Yeah, can I get a lift to the roof? Thank you, sir. No one. I will let you guys decide on that. I just want to close the door. I do need a hot pop out of fi like I'm gonna do it anyway off camera, but like if I don't do it with you guys, but I do need to pop out like a few eggs and such. See the eggs, okay? Yeah, I'll do that. I have a stupid amount saved up, like a black bagged on um on the other raptor. <laughs> More or less arc? <laughs> it would yeah exactly. That's exactly what would be unexpected. <laughs> Axel, I can't I can't say that out loud. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I would say. But I can't because of YouTube. You know what I mean? But that's basically what I will do. I will I will delete the the bad uh the bad theories. So I'm currently looking for I think nineteen out or twenty. I'm looking for twenty out of 20 over 25, because we need 25 mutations on the theories. I'm just gonna fly to this red drop on the way home. Because it is a red drop. And 
it's probably going to despawn by the time I get there, because that's my luck, you know? Or, I'll get really garbage lit, because I've already picked up two red drops on stream with you guys, you know what I mean? So, take a little detour, get this red drop, hopefully if it's still here. Yeah, it's on 80 health, it's fine. I'll be able to get this easy. Ooh, that's a... I heard that, that's a UD, really close. Get off. Oh shit, get on. Okay. We have a better Tuso saddle. Mm. Alright, whatever. Yeah, I got a Tuso saddle out of it. But our saddle that we have back at base, the blueprint's better. I didn't mess around on my Tuso, you guys. I kind of want to take it for Warrior, yes. The red so, drops have the best. Now, if you find a drop in the sky that has a ring around it, it'll be a yellow ring. So, like, it'll still be red, but if it has a ring around it, then the quality of the loot inside of that particular drop will be increased. The ring is like an orangish red color. So, that'll tell you right then and there whether or oh, not. Yeah, it's fine. I'll kill it. We, um. Oh, we need to... uh, I'm carrying the Megalania. Oh. It really does not have much health. Oh, never mind. But, yeah, we need, um. Yeah, when you go up to the drops, like, one thing you can look for is if it has a ring. So, like, this purple drop, I'm not gonna get it, but there's no ring on that, so... Like, that tells you right there that the, the quality of the loot is kind of standard, you know what I mean? So, I'll head back to base, I'll pop out a few of those, uh, those theory eggs. Um, I'll show you what the process looks like when I'm breeding. If you are curious, we've been playing ASA since the game has dropped, and as soon as we've gotten the bases on the Theories and the Rexes, I've been breeding non-stop. And because of that, my Thylaco that I have, which is my marsupial cat that I'm using to like delete the babies that are unwanted, that thing has gotten so much XP, and I believe it is two levels right now off of being max cap for creature. Like, the max creature cap. So, you get 88 levels for creatures in the game. And because of how many high-level Rexes I've been, like, deleting in the base, I've basically almost maxed it out. It still has a little bit to go. I would say by, like, tomorrow, I will have my achievement on Steam at least done for max capping this the creature. The for now. Almost back at base. So we have a setting right now on the server. We have a setting where, because we were thinking about Quetzals, but we have a setting where like if you dismount the flyer in the sky, so it only works for Quetzals or the Rhinos, it'll regain the stamina back. Because that's how the Quetzals, I think that's how the Quetzals used to do way back in the day on ASE, but I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, we're gonna go and get... Let me see. Yeah, I'm close to base. That rally point, I think, is base. Roughly in the direction. Are you back a base tart? Yes.
Do you need some? No, I was just curious, actually, to see how much time I lost by checking those drops. No, I'm back at the base. Maybe Lydia is on the roof. Um, if you want, later this afternoon, we can hit up, like, the Carno Cave again, or we could hit up, um... Carno Cave, or... I want to hit up the Lava Cave to see if there's Megalania in that. Okay, so you guys are about to see how I do the breeding setup. So first I'm going to pop all of my loot, all, well, my stuff into the rhino, and I'll sort my rhino later. I need my bird, which is... Is that Willy? Yep. So, I'll show you guys exactly how I've been breeding for the past, like, week and a half off camera with you guys. So I grab Willy. Willy is my argent. That Sam bred up. It's only got... Three 1k weight. My female melee theory has grown up, so I need to convert that actually to a male in a second. She doesn't have a saddle. So all these eggs are 19 out of 20. So I always have the theories turned on and they're breeding and such. So the males up there above the females. And it works pretty quickly, so the level I would look for is 272. So I literally just access the inventory, transfer all the eggs, turn around, put them into my Argent. Because I don't hatch them out here. I hatch them in a different location. I hatch all of my my Oviraptors. My Oviraptors, like, inventory, I always... I always hatch out the Theory eggs with the Rex eggs. Because half the time that's where I'm breeding anyway, so it makes sense. And I don't think I can carry anymore, so I need to owe these out. And the oviraptor will carry that. <laughs> yeah. But, but here's the thing though, unexpected, I do, I do actually sort it out later. When I'm on stream though with you guys, like the thing is, is that if I actually sort out my inventory, it would take forever. <laughs> I'll sort it out later. <laughs> but I know I will. So, 272 is what I'm looking for. So, I go in here. These Rex eggs are unfertilized. We get so many unfertilized that I just eat them. Literally. And then I always go like this. So the air cons are below the floor. So if I pick one up, the air cons are below the floor. We don't use an OV Raptor over here to pick up eggs. And then I stand about right here and I start, I always put out four at a time. One, two, three, four. Like that. Back up. One, two, three, four. It works really well when you've actually picked up the correct number, but sometimes I'll just oh out, like, sometimes I'll put six in this spot. Like, I never put more than six OV wrap, or sorry, six Therizina eggs in the same spot. If you're doing Rexes, I would never ever put more than three in the same spot. That artifact, though, I need to get rid of that. So, like, that oviraptor, I think, was going and collecting eggs for about an hour or so? Maybe two hours? So, I basically do a line like this. Sometimes I'll even turn this way to make reading the text easier.
If you turn your character as you owe them out, it makes life so much easier to read what the baby levels are. So then I'll turn this way too, and then I'll owe them out like this. You get me? And you'll see why. So I just go up, I look straight down like this. And so because I'm looking for 272, I can quickly scan the levels. And if you just tilt your camera up and down, go in first person, go in third. I'm always in third person though, you'll notice that. And the thyla is in here to delete any of the unnecessary babies that we don't need. Oh, there's a 272 right there. So then we check it. Um, and this is how I know what I'm looking for is the previous level, which is 270. So basically all I have to do is claim a 270 and compare the 272 to the 270. So watch this. I'll claim this 270 here. I'll check the stats. It's not the mutation, because look, the health is 15-3 on the 270, and then if I compare it to like the 272, it's the exact same, so yeah. So all I have to do then is like, unclaim, I have to unclaim it, but this is why it gets so hard, is because like, you have to literally scan all the babies. And sometimes I'll look through it twice over just to make sure that I haven't screwed up because the last thing that you want to do is accidentally kill your mutation. Like you don't want to delete your mutation off. That's the worst thing that you can do. So none of these are it. So then you get on your... I would highly recommend that people use a Thyla because of the bleed damage that it does and then you just delete the unnecessary ones. How, by the way, if you're asking how we did a lot of our hide farming, this was it. You literally just keep dumping your prime like that. And because we've been doing this for hours on end, every day, this is how you get a lot of your hide as well. And then you rinse and you literally rinse and repeat, guys. That's it. That's all you do with breeding. That's why, like, I don't do it on camera with you guys because of how monotonous it it, be it can become. You know what I mean? I just want to drop off this artifact real quick. I'll check the rest of what's in the Argent. Um, but yeah, on Saturday we're gonna be doing that boss fight. So please stay tuned for that because that's gonna be. Oh my god, that's gonna be fun! I can't wait. Like I said, we're just gonna do, we're only going to do Gamma because we just wanna get our foot in, in the door to start getting boss fights up there going. But our Rexes are monstrous. Dots, how are you? How's your breeding going, by the way? How's the Desmodus going? So I do, four, like I said, four at a time, back up. And I'm not exact every single time, I just literally owe out what the heck I'm looking, you know what I mean? And this is the thing though, is like, just because I'm, like, I probably won't get the mutation. The thing is, is it can take literally days, hours, whatever, right? I mean, if you're on official settings, it will take you weeks, right? really just depends on what you're playing with. Oh! 14! Damn, that's good. Well done, by the way. But those things are very nice to use now.
Alright, so they're starting to hatch. Okay, so I don't... No. No. So mutations are few and far between. There's none in there. I love, well, I love breeding in, in Ark. It's actually the one thing that I really can, like, can definitely gravitate towards. It's a lot of fun. I, ooh, right there, 272. I love it when, like, things work in your favor. Nope. Mm, it mutated in... I think it mutated in... Stamina? So I'm looking for 272. There's one. Right there, that green one. That's a nope. So I unclaim it immediately because it's not. Don't. Like, just because it's a mutation, it doesn't mean yeah, it's useful. I'm back. Welcome back. Did, uh, I was watching the stream. Did you tell him about Liz? Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> we just need a female now. Did you get it out of the cave? Yeah, I mean, it kind of handily enough. It was, it was a bit. The climbing must be clunky with it though. Ah, oh, they can climb, can't they? I forgot they could climb. Yeah. Did I was you wondering hear... how you were gonna get it out. Did you hear what people were saying you could do with them old school? What? You breed them, and the babies will give you megalania toxin. That's bullshit. No! But that's what everybody in the chat's been saying. They said it's the only creature in Ark that... That gives you the trophy item for yeah. what happened to kill them. What? If yeah. it does, that's huge. All this time we've been farming megalania toxin. Yeah, just I just thought that I thought literally no baby could give the trophy items. Same. But it had to be wild. If that does, that's really good because that's probably one of the that's one of the most annoying ones to kind of just bulk get. Out of curiosity, do you know what other cave they spawn in? Because, like, the only one I know is Carno, and I was thinking the lava cave, but... They spawn in the one by us, that little, uh, hunt cave. Yeah. Um... Axel was saying that. They also spawn in... Yeah, Carno cave. They spawn in Central cave as well. Can they really? Pretty sure. I've definitely seen one in this cave by us, because when they first added them to the game, um... I was looking and that's the first place we went and there's one on the ceiling. Well, if we can get a female, we need to test it. Like, I wouldn't mind running to those caves again just to see if we can get a Megalania. Or, um, a Megalosaurus as well. Yeah, I want a Megalosaurus. It says here, looking at the wiki, that they spawn in that cave by us. Lava cave. Um, oh, that's it. Swamp Cave. And Carno swamp cave. cave. Yeah, they don't swamp. spawn anywhere else, so it's... Yeah, you know the Swamp Cave with the frogs. I mean, we don't go into every room or chamber with that Swamp Cave. I ain't never seen them. You probably don't. Well, you're probably not looking for them. Where I usually see them in the Swamp Cave is, you know, when you turn right and go to the blue drop room. They're in there, in on the ceiling. Oh shit, for real? But can you tame stuff in there, or is that an end game cave? Oh yeah, because of the levels. Um, probably, probably not. Just because everything in there is like level crazy. Or level. I think maybe Megalonias bypass the rule and they don't go over level. I think it's Megalonias and Megalosaurs that do that sometimes. But if if you ignore Swamp Cave, it's literally the one by yours, Lava Cave, and then Kana. There's a 272 right here. 
not it. So in claimant. This is literally what I do, guys, all day. Did you guys <laughs> go in this this cave bios? Um, believe it or not, I've not been in there. So if we want to poke our head in there and just have a peek, I don't mind. And like seeing if we can find one, cause. I really want to test this out. I really, really want to test that out. That's crazy as hell. I need to breed up a wolf just for quick cave runs. I'm going to take Twisted's wolf. Yeah, he's not using it. No, it's not imprinted either, so I don't think it'd be that bothered if it's what happens. There's a 272 right here. Nope. Do y'all see how many mutations, by the way? I just checked. That are 272 and you don't get it. That's my point. It's like, it's um, it's all down to RNG. You know, it's random as hell. So like, even if you get mutations, like you're- oh, Teleporting? Can't even fit thylas in there. No. Well, you might be able to fit a raptor if you- <laughs> <laughs> None of these are good. So you get on, and you delete. Most people fit back. You can- now- do y'all understand what I'm saying now is why my- my Thylica is almost max, like, level. Cause I'm literally just deleting off these. sure that you get rid of the um you have to make sure that you get rid of the corpses as well because otherwise the the other ones will become scared when they sense them and they'll run which is really annoying. The babies do drop that stuff that's crazy because I remember I've literally been farming that stuff at one point. Same. To be fair though if I if I recall even when we were playing on um ASE I never went out of my way to go tame them. Like, they weren't... <sighs> I, I did tame too because I was getting eggs off them. Because I used to try and get every single egg possible. Even if it was pointless. Was that because of the old kibble system or...? Power shot some um, frogs outside this cave. Yeah. I think he's oh, got no, a no, power... Power did not... say he ran uh, the hunter cave and he was able to get the artifact, so... Ah, oh, cool. No, not because of the kibble, I just... I don't know. It started because of the kibble, then I just kind of liked... Flamer! ...collecting the eggs. Like, if just... Pokemon? Yeah, I just liked the fridge, <laughs> like, full of every single egg available. Flamer, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, Pokemon vibes. God dang, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of wanted the switch. Squid. How much health did you get that up there? Uh, I only put two levels in health, and then I left it. It's all in on melee. Yeah, because well, yeah, as soon as I saw it, melee. yeah, as soon as I saw the That's... healing, you're I realized. Oh yeah, sure. All right, there's a two seven. Nothing much. I'm breeding at the moment. Like I'm, you caught me towards the end of the stream. Well, I made a huge mistake bringing this wolf in there, actually. Was that? Because it's weak as hell. It's only got 2k health. God <laughs> dang bail it. Out, bail out. Honestly, we could run that on foot with shotguns. You think? Or, or is that too much? Uh, you could. It's sometimes just the swarms are just a bit, a bit savage. I'm probably just gonna breed up my own wolf off the base and then print it. Or maybe just another baryonyx. That's fair. Yeah, I don't think there's much point in putting um, any health points on the squids. Oh, jump over the tail. Uh, literally, you can come out of a fight with an alpha moser and be full health. Yep, so it's just, all of us get deleted. Just no point. I 
I have to have the mutation in this pile. That's like 300 eggs, dude. That's crazy to think about. Nope, that's it. Holy crap. It's the kill, then. Do you want some help? <laughs> no, no, I just got just pulled a 180 and came out. I checked it. What cave, what cave did you go into with us? Nadavli, I just checked it. Just the standard it. cave, it's just centipede. There's no saddles, is there? So the centipedes were biting me for like... Oh, no, I did the, check it though. Oh, I, yeah, I yeah, saw yeah. the one you were on about. Yeah, I did recognize that one. Yeah. It's the only problem with die walls, they're, they're good, but it's just... I wish they had saddles, man. Yeah. But you leave them be able, leave them rideable without a saddle, but like be able yeah, to stick one on their armor. Or yeah, hundred percent. It it doesn't even need to be a saddle. If it, they actually had like actual armor, like you put like I don't know. Well, it, if the hyena has got bloody meat pack saddles, and you can't yeah. even ride them, like surely the wolf should get like some sort of saddle. I would say they either give them a saddle or they make them do bleed or something. I don't like how they done. Well, they get the pack bonus. Mm. What? No. Yeah, but that, that makes you two pack bonus with bleed. I mean, but the pack bonus is good, mm. but they, they just can't stick any damage. Uh, I'm, I'm just kind of thinking of them in the wilds. They just mince everything. Yeah, but the, the Dynonicus also get a pack bonus too, and yeah. they also do bleed. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah, I suppose. And they get saddles. Yeah. yeah. Dire wolves yeah. are squishy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, see? Point taken. Point taken. Like, they've, um, they've definitely neglected some of the creatures in this game. They've neglected, if anything, the ocean in this game, and it pisses me off even still, because, like, that mod for, um, what was that mod called that we put on that one server? Arcaditions? Arcaditions, thank you. With yeah, the Yeah, that's a good, like... Yeah, the turtle, the Savactinus. Helicopter. Uh, yeah, the helicopter and the dinosuchus even technically does, to an extent. Does, does one of them I saw I saw something. Does it turn um saddles into blueprints? Yes, the helicopter does. The helicopter, yeah. Yeah, I saw someone doing it, I was like, what in the hell's going on here? I was like, how's he getting blueprints? And then and it then makes I that thought, noise. Yeah. It has yeah. That's it has the you know we hold on. It's our soundboard in Discord. Yeah, one second. This one. Oh. Whenever it fails to make a blueprint. <laughs> I can imagine you grind up like a really, really good like saddle. And then it gives just gives you back yeah. scraps. You guys are right in the chat. The but wolves can, are black. Um, they have a su success rate conversion thing as a stat, so you can like level that up to like a hundred percent success rate, so it's like oh, that's cool. I've seen people having issues with the the crocodile though, because Sarko Cave just becomes full of them, and they oh, do that's... quite they do mad damage, don't they, when they clamp the jaw down? Honestly, yeah. they're Gigabyte. crazy. Two seven two, right there, guys. Got it. Nice. I got twenty. That's the twentieth mutation. Oh shit! Like Y'all got to witness a that. A lot of the air conditioning creatures are really balanced. The helicopter in one is the That's only nice. one that seems a bit. Uh. Being able to convert items to blueprints. All right, but... so this is thank God it's on a male as well. So you go like this. When I saw that, I did think I was a bit hacked. Yeah, yeah, that's a bit much. All, all the other like normal creatures, you know, that they're you know they're just creatures. They don't do any conversions or anything. I get. See, so, you know, even the um. The Akros, I mean, they have that rage mode, but like base damage, they do less damage than the Rex. I mean, in our Lost Island thing, I mean, they, were, they weren't doing much damage to um, Gamma and Beta. Uh, well, it depends for me, it would just be what do they place Look. the spawn, like what oh. spawns do they replace? It's going to heaven. Like the Ark, some of the Ark additions. Like, do they replace. Like Giga or Karkos spawns. No, no, they don't. They don't replace anything. They just get added. That's their own spawn order. Um, they must replace something because the crocodiles are replacing Sarkos. I'm wondering if, because I don't know, they, they must. I uh, feel like they'll they must swap out something. Like the, they, you know. Yeah, they do. The Acros, man. I swear they used to. They replaced. 
the UDs and some of the Rex spawns, I think. No. No, because all the maps that we played our conditions on didn't actually have those creatures on it, and I had to add their own spawners, but that's a full spawner mode. Oh, for real? Yeah. So, I, I guess the on would be the... If we had it on the on, the on would be like the first incident where like you could actually like replace some of the creatures. Right. Yeah, a Acro probably probably shares... Well, actually... Shares with something, I was, messing, that's I, I, was messing, I was messing around with it in single player. The acros on the island, they spawn around the uh, the redwoods. Yeah, they do. So what the hell? Guys, that is going to do it for this stream. Um, I just got the 20 mutation right there. 20. The reason why I called it 20 out of 25, by the way, is because legitimately we're going to 25 mutations with it. So this is what I've been doing. I take the baby, I drop it off here, I let it raise up. But I need to put in meat into its inventory. I am not going to touch that. Uh, where are you at? Right here. Put the mayhose in there. It doesn't matter. Any berry will do because it's going to eat it up. So, as of right now, this is where the health is at pre-imprint. The reason we're getting it up to 25 is because when we get it to 25 mutations, we've done the math on what an imprint will do. And if we imprint it at if we get 25 mutations, we will maximize the usage of the sweet veggie cake for the healing. And that's all we need, basically, to do the dragon fight. We're going to take the theories for the dragon fight, the Rexes for the Broodmother and the Megapithecus, and a combination of both for the, the Tech Cave, the Overseer. So we're getting close to being ready to go. The next time you guys see me playing this game, the next time you see me streaming, we will be tackling the boss, and that's going to be this Saturday. We're going to be doing all the K or sorry, all the bosses... Gamma first, and after that we'll do probably beta, and then of course we will do alpha, because we're going to definitely complete this, the island, to the maximum that we can. Until then, thank you guys for watching, stay tuned for Saturday, and for those of you that celebrate Thanksgiving, 